Hello, hello, and welcome everyone to Cold Hard Witch. We are Lawful Stupid RPG, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play through Rhyme of the Frost Maiden module with a few additions sprinkled in. Uh, my name is Buddy, and I'm the DM of this adventure. Not quite yet the trifling DM, but I think we all know that I will get there. Uh, we continue to run a little bit short-staffed, but we have a guest player this week. Um, let's see who all we have tonight. We have Rodney playing Flynn, the Psy Warrior Fighter. Uh, we have uh, Madeline playing Zalvana, our devilish Azamar Bard. Pike playing Professor Reginald, a human warlock. And Ryan, the former FNDM, is, uh, is playing Captain Imdra, who He's we met demoted. last time. He's been demoted from DM to Captain. To NBC. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Delfina and Ferial's players are unable to join us uh, due to work commitments. Uh, how is everyone tonight? Uh, good. Is the when we last left our party, <clears throat> uh, they worked with the good people of Bremen to put together a search for information on the whereabouts of Ferial and Xander. They discovered a number of tantalizing leads and managed to reinvigorate Cora and help turn the buried treasures in into a thriving business once more. The professor brought Tali into the noble tradition of warlocks and procured himself a familiar. Y'all, uh, did Delphine... I start a cult? Is that what no. I did? <laughs> no, you've got a follower. When you get a following, then it's a cult. But yeah, she's not I think following that... me. I, just, I was just preaching the good news. That's all I, uh... it was. I'm keeping score, though, of how many followers you have, and I'll let you know when it turns into a full-blown cult. Okay, good. Um, Delfino was... My name's Professional <laughs> Reginald. <laughs> Delfina was gifted a very special heirloom to keep in her pouch. Uh, they matched wits with a devious river crossing, and Flynn parted with his necklace as a sacrifice to Oriel. They arrived in Targos and were met by someone from their past. She took them to the Wolf's Pelt Inn to bring them up to speed on some of the things that have happened. Flynn went to order some more drinks and then <laughs> slipped into the back room, apparently with one of the innkeeper's daughters, probably just to help <laughs> tap a new keg. Well, <laughs> Is that what we're calling it these days? <laughs> uh, you just got to pull the handle. Uh, <laughs> oh. and, I know, right? And now, friends... <laughs> to set the scene for this evening, we need to have a secret secret. Oh, here we go. Secret Zalvana. Secret. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm not sure how Ryan's going to secret secret since he doesn't have headphones. <laughs> yeah. You keep, uh -huh. you keep doing that. Secret secret. Okay. Salvana. Yeah. You have spent the last few days at the keep at Care Denival, but you've been sent back to be with your friends. Yes. You step into the teleportation circle at the keep. The wind and snow and ice begin to swirl around you, and you find yourself suddenly in the middle of a town square. Townsfolk seem to be very surprised, and there are a couple of guards that begin slowly moving towards you. Mm -hmm. Ahead of you, uh, ducking into an alley, you see a familiar figure. Uh, please roll a perception for me. Okay. Um, sorry. Perception, where are you? Okay. Plug him up, Brian. Rolled... Plug him up, Brian. <laughs> A 14. The, the person that is, that is, you see skating just out of sight, it really looks from behind like Captain Imdra from East Haven. Okay. Um, she seems to be skulking about as if she doesn't want to be seen. And she's headed from where you are to the north. Um, do you want to... She's headed away from the guards who are eyeing you, just as a side note. Ah. Um, well, if I can tell that she doesn't really want to be seen, then uh, I will not draw more attention to her. Um, okay. So I will... I will walk up to the guards. <laughs> and, Ooh, okay. And... Ask how they're quite, doing. Quite, uh, <laughs> quite an entrance you make, ma'am. Uh, do you you have some specific business here? Um, I'm just here for my friends. Uh, I was 
just in a different place. Anyway, um, do you know where they are? Uh, well, there's lots of people here. Uh, I mean, they they might be at, at the Luskin Arms or they might be at the Wolfspelt End. Uh, okay. Well, um, I'll go look for them then. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And they they kind of keep their eyes on you still, but they're not they're not harassing you at all. Okay. Um. All right. So, Wolfspelt Inn or where else? <laughs> should, uh, is the, that where the, I should go? The Luskin Arms Inn. Luskin. All right. I'm gonna make my way to the Luskin Arms then. Okay, going off the rails right out of the gate. <laughs> What am uh, I supposed to, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> no, if you want to go to the Luskin, that's totally fine. Uh, so you, uh, this in, it, it seems to be very old, very dilapidated from the outside. And there is, there's quite a guard presence outside of it. Um, there, there must be 15 or 20 guards just kind of milling around outside. And they, while they're not stopping you, they, they immediately kind of all have eyes on you. Hmm. All right. Well, um, crap. Well, uh, mm -hmm. all right. I guess I'll just. Uh, can I, can we help you? Are you looking for a room tonight, ma'am? Um, actually, looking for my friends. I need to catch up with them. Well, there's no one here that we know of at the speaker. So there are rooms for rent, though. If you're looking for a room. All right. Well. Um, thanks. I'll, <laughs> I'll just keep moving on. I really need to find my friends. I just need to make sure that they're okay. You see some of them like taking some notes and, and I mean, they're, they're for sure have all of their eyes on you on every inch of you. <laughs> <Eight. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> that, but I meant like the beautiful sword that you have and the fact that you're kitted out like an, an extreme ass kicker. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. But that as well. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These voluptuous um, swords. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> Huge tracks of swords. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll go to the other arms. Wolf. Okay. The wolf spelt in. Wolf spelt in. Yeah. So the uh, do you want to kind of peek in a window or just want to go straight inside? Yeah. Let me let me peek in a window. Uh, so you look in the window and. <laughs> In the far corner, you see Delphina, and you see the professor, and you see Imdra sitting at a table talking to them. And if you kind of look across, you see just a, a smattering of people in there, and you see Flynn at the bar, looking like he's buying some drinks. Um, but then he kind of looks left, looks right, and steps around the end of the bar, and he and a, a very attractive barmaiden slip through mm. a door that closes behind them into a back room. I uh, grin widely and then, <laughs> and then proceed to walk in and- okay. uh, Yeah? Just walk up to him. Okay. Say what's up. The pike is just like totally not paying attention. You're just like dead staring at me, Pike, and you're just like, I'm not coming back until he says my name. <laughs> you weren't doing the signal. Oh, you're right. You're right. I, I was, was, oh, yeah. was, I was waiting for the signal. Apologies. It's my first time with the secret secret. So secret secret. Uh how'd that feel, Ryan, to be I, like I was I was just telling chat and also uh, talking with the good people on Twitch. I was like, that's some un that's some unnerving shit. Like, I don't like that. That's mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was also uh, the longest secret secret. Oh, it was lies. not the longest secret lies. secret. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I read like The Hobbit one time during a secret secret. Like the, uh, the sit the down and tell you a story. I also I love the little hints that trap that chat drops. I was like, nice, nice hilts. What the heck can I they know, talk right? about? <laughs> like, nice hilts. Um. So Who's you near? all have. <laughs> You all have seen uh, Flynn was going to get up and go get you some drinks. And he went to the bar and then 
scooted around the bar and through a door with one of the daughters of the tavern keeper. Uh, and you hear the door open and you look back and standing in the doorway is Zalvana. Hi. <laughs> oh. Hey. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Care Deneval. Well, okay. <laughs> Would you like a drink? Yes. Excellent. Um, what, what am I drinking? Um, what is this? How did she achieve such a thing? You only it, just re- recently came from Bremen. Yes, I have. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, anyway, a drink. Yes. Um, what is this wine? Is, is this what they're calling wine? In this tavern. Anyway, whatever it is, you can have mine. It's not great. <laughs> uh, you see the... Uh, just letting you guys catch up a little bit. So, moving forward, uh, there are things in this town which we need to figure out. Yes. Uh, starting with, where are our friends? Um, so... You had mentioned that um, Prudence and uh, Crea, is that who it was? Crea? Crea? Yes, Crea. Crea. So yes, they, they recently came to Targos, correct? Correct. And I saw them traveling with two prisoners. Were they... Were they both average, like humanoid size? I mean, that's a loaded question, I suppose. I mean, this is were this they is... the were they the size of a human, a uh, couple of elves? Professor, this is the Dale. Uh, everything is wrapped in furs, but uh, they were. Yeah, but if it was a halfling, you would have noticed. Well, surely. absolutely no. They were uh, medium-sized creatures, as from what I could tell. Uh, both of them of a slighter build, not necessarily a heavier set individuals, but beyond that, uh, your guess is as good as mine. Right. Also, what happened to your hand? Oh, it's, I don't have it anymore. No, I know that. I see, I have eyes, but like, that's why I asked what happened. Yeah. Delphina is there who you also don't know. Yeah. Uh, and the, I assume, very uh, bright-faced. She seems very chipper to be. Oh, oh, oh! I am. I am very chipper. It's one of my chipperest features. Yes. I hi, think. hi, hi! I'm Delphina. Hmm. Wasn't. Forgive me, Professor. Wasn't your cleric before a, a, a dwarf named Herrick? Yes. Lost He's... him when I lost the arm. Yes. And when they gained me, we came through a portal. I was with my mom and my grandma, and we were just we were having coffee. And then suddenly, I I felt a I felt a pull, and and then I was I was I was in the snow, and all of these people, and then some things came out and attacked us. So, question I just considered, is it possible that I, I grabbed you through the curtain, Delphina, but my arm did not come, is it possible that my arm just inadvertently ended up on your grandmother's kitchen table? Oh, oh, oh my goodness, I, I, I don't know, but, 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 but my, my mom and my mom and my grandma are healers, so I'm sure they would, like, put it in some milk or something to, to, keep, it, to keep it fresh until, until we can get it back to you. I wonder, hmm, it would depend on how good of healers they are. Could they heal the rest of my oh, body very from good. They taught me. a severed arm? Could they have, you know, I have heard of certain sea creatures, especially that when you, when you cut an arm off, will regrow an entirely separate sea creature. So I'm wondering if there's an alternate me running around here somewhere. You oh. haven't been gone from East Haven for more than a week. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Professor, are you a sea creature? Not that I know of. I'm not ruling it out, though. Uh, 
I've but got... yes, we've been gone for less than a week. You're correct. I understand. And in this time, you have lost your cleric, found another Asimar, and lost your arm. And well, I'm now... a cleric too, so it's just kind of a trade. And fair trade. Uh, but now you've lost two more of your party members? Yes, this keeps happening. Unfortunately. Um, and you just but... let another one of your party members wander into the back of this establishment. Yeah, I was going to getting around to that. Um, Should we... I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's just being helpful back there. May I? Why don't we, we're going we're gonna to pause off of this and, and Flynn... Um... Uh, Terrace, the, uh, the, the eldest of the barmaids has, uh, has, has walked you into kind of the back living quarters area and, uh, has gently given you a, a kiss on the cheek. And then she has stepped away from you into a room. And so you now, my friend have a decision to make. You're going to have to make a decision. Um, uh, I'm gonna first use detect thoughts. <laughs> uh, okay, this is the just for surface thoughts. Yeah, surface thoughts. Uh, okay, the it, it, the general idea of it is, damn, finally somebody worthwhile has come through this piece of shit town. Okay, but like only one voice is one mind voice is coming from that room, right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's only one, and it seems to be that like a genuine admiration. Okay, uh, but yeah, there, she she's in there. She's like lighting some candles. You can see inside the room that she's lighting some candles, but you don't get any other thoughts. You can hear kind of the the edges of the bar, and maybe what are, must be her sisters talking, like, "Oh, oh, they they want drinks." He said something about the wine wasn't good, and and they seem to be going just about normal service type stuff. Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Before I make the joke, I got to make sure it's in my inventory. <laughs> the joke I don't know what this means, but... <laughs> Man, I'm so ready for it. Man, I've never gone that good for a setup that I've actually put the joke in my inventory. Um. Yeah, I'm like, cool, 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 cool. All right, all right, all right. Solo weapons, grab the rope, and head on in. As you as you grab the rope, the thoughts turn saucier, <laughs> and we'll come back into the bar. <laughs> and um, just nonchalantly fanning herself for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Did it get hot in here? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna reach out to Flynn telepathically. Like, uh, oh God, please do. <laughs> Flynn, am I interrupting anything? Around the around the back and under the what? Huh? Huh? Um, no, I'm good. Um, uh, give me, give me like, careful. Not, it's not here. Like, like an hour. Give me, like, uh, give me like an hour. Um, an hour. Make it two. <laughs> I will call you. All right. Don't don't worry. Uh, got my hands full at the at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Take care of that. Take um, care of this. <laughs> are you? Yeah, he, he's just staring are you blankly. Right Indra. Now? <laughs> he's professor. He's what's he? What's he saying? Is he in trouble? Oh, do we I need to go help tell. him? Does he need to borrow my goat? Hmm. Yes. Yes. I think he does. <laughs> I think. I think he requires all of our assistance immediately. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, well, okay, let's go help him. Why not? And... It'll be fun. <laughs> Wait. All right, so he's in, he's in the back then. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Uh, Every, I mean, everyone you up, don't know go. that. He <laughs> might not be that far along yet. Uh... <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Uh, as as Delfina stands up and, and you all begin to stand... Uh, the uh, what you know is the 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 wife of the the of the pair that own this uh, Josie comes over and just oh I did manage to find some uh, some lavender tea for you dear I, I I'm I'm sorry that uh, let's just say our oldest daughter is she's not a child anymore and she sees something that she's interested in and she and she makes a makes a play for it. Um, but she's a grown woman. She can she can make her own choices. 
um one of the other daughters uh you can see comes over and um she has kind of some more nibbles and she has the round of drinks that uh that was going to be brought yes ryan i'm sorry you said nibbles right is that what that word was yeah okay cool just yes. checking all right yeah i'm not talking about flynn all right uh yeah she brings some uh some nibbles some food to munch on and there it is that flynn was going to get uh and she she's she sets them down on the table and she her face is just is wet with tears she's you can tell she's kind of silently sobbing and has been sobbing for a while and she sets the tray down the, the drinks and the food out and she looks at all of you and gives a little head bob and looks at her mother and tears up more and and kind of runs runs off back to the back uh thank you beatrice what was that <sighs> about she um she doesn't like serving drinks no no she she does she she has had a an unfortunate turn of events with her um with her her boyfriend he uh it, it, with theo and i were hoping that that he would would stay here and 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 work for us but because he's an amazing cook and his trout cooking skills are 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 second to none he is he's amazing um unfortunately he took a job at uh, at at care Deneval to work for the city speaker but it's been days nigh on a couple of weeks now that uh he's not replied to any of uh any of Beatrice's letters, uh, which, which is very unusual. He he, they wrote nearly every day to each other. Um, Theo is a little worried that she might do something silly, like traveling to Care Deneval alone to find him. She's uh, well, let's say she's not cut out for winter weather, like you all seem to be. Yeah, I would recommend that. He's, I mean, he's likely in in terrible danger, so she shouldn't run off and. Professor, roll me a history check. Yeah. Holy moly, get in there. 15 plus 621. Well, I... Uh, you know, a mother doesn't always like the, the suitors of, 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 their, of her children, but uh, Karu is, is just lovely. And Professor, with, a, with, a, with, a, with that history roll, you, you recognize the name... Karu, um, when you were at Care Deneval, Mare had mentioned the the cook in in the keep there. She said, "Well, there's there's the cook, Karu," and so you absolutely re recall that name. Um, Care Deneval, refresh my memory. Is that the one where all of the staff had been imprisoned in the basement? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, that's where uh, you guys made yeah. a bit of a deal. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Um, deal adjacent to potentially a devil. So do I remember that Carew being one of the people that was in that basement dungeon? No, you remember uh, Carew was actually still the cook um, when you guys went hunting for uh, the old crone Hethel. Yes. You okay, were talking okay. to the tiefling mayor and she mentioned that that Carew was in the kitchen with the goats and there was a whole goat joke then that we're tying back to now. Well, I will um uh, if if you need more drinks or, or food just just let us know. I will uh we'll get you some over. I'll, I'll let you I'll let you all talk. But yes, like I said, he's probably in terrible danger, so I wouldn't go looking for him. Thank you for the, and then she turns away and she, she had been more sure of the situation. And now that you said that she's very much less sure of that things will be okay. Just do my job, ma'am. <laughs> uh, so do, are, are, are we going to help Flynn? Uh, I mean, this tea is really good, but if Flynn needs us, we, we can all go help him. It, it seems that Flynn is not in any danger from what I understand. 
of the mothers talking, but also, Professor, why did you not tell that mother that you had been to Care Dineval? She didn't ask. Was I supposed to? Did I miss something? You have to be very specific with the professor. Well, normally when people are inquiring about a place that you've been to, I mean, word travels around the Dale. And so if you have information, especially given how much things can change, say in less than a week with some people you know, um, in that way, if you have new information about a place or somewhere that you visited and someone inquires about it, it it's customary in the Dale to pass that information along. I mentioned the terrible of, danger, did I not? You did, yes. But do you know whether or not this, this cook, this Karoo is alive or not? Yeah. And you didn't care to share that <laughs> with the mother and the betrothed of the, of the, of the man, of the, of the cook? I mean, I did imply he was alive. No. What did you imply? I said he was in terrible danger. He couldn't still be in danger if he was dead. That's true. You're not really in anything, unless maybe like a coffin or maybe just a hole in the ground mm -hmm. if you're dead. You are yeah. so bubbly and yet so disturbing at the same time. That is, that is a Thank you. startling combination. I you, really want to talk right, right to another human. <laughs> the, uh, you again hear the, the door open behind you all. Uh, Zalvana is sort of in internet limbo at the moment. Uh, yeah, she, a, we're hoping to get her back. Let's be honest, um, the teleportation circle is a little iffy that time. So, you know. She's, uh, oh, looks like I have a, a, a picture in Discord of her computer restarting and doing an update. So... We are still fingers crossed on her. All right. It's just, it's a picture of her computer restarting and it says, fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the, the Man. door opens and uh, in walk two guards and uh, professor, you and Delphina can see, uh, Imdra, you have your back to the door. You see that the, there are two guards that walk in and a woman um, who, Make a perception check, and I'm, I will roll for Delfina. All right, so all um, not, yeah, not you, Imdra. You're looking. You're not looking at the situation. You hear the door right. and stiffen, but you're unable to see what's happening. Okay. Professor. Yes, I'm sorry. What did you need? Uh, uh, perception. perception check. <laughs> I feel like that's a nat one. I feel like <laughs> that right there is just automatic. It is a 14 with zero bonus. So the, you definitely don't get a good vibe from the woman, but you do not recognize her either. Right. Uh, they, they walk immediately to the bar and you see them speaking with, um, with Theo and Josie. So, Indra, if you would like to, like, get your yeah, as you say, yeah. Me. So, are these are these two across from me making it a, a kind of a show of like eyeballing these people as they're walking in, or um, because I feel like anyone walking into the I, place I would like. To have I, eyeballs I, on. I, I would say I would say Delphina. Well, you you were unable to because Flynn already took the seat with his back against the wall. Damn it! Initially. Flynn. You could move to that seat. It is it is empty. Um, Delfina certainly you can tell that she's looking at them, but she's all just right. bubbles all the way down. And the professor looking intently, but he looks at everyone that way as though he's making notes about them. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, so uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna slot. I'm gonna like sort of as nonchalantly as possible shift my seat so I can put my back to the wall and also try to get a, an eyeful on these individuals. Perception mm -hmm. check. Ooh. Woof. All right, that's an 11. Well, I'm going to tell you that even with an 11, the burning pit inside of your stomach ignites. Ooh, I hate that. Um, oh. Because you immediately recognize this woman. Uh, the two guards are just two, just two guards, but they 
the three of them are are definitely talking with Theobald and Josie uh, at the bar. One of the guards seems to have a, a, a piece of parchment or or some sort of a ledger or something. Hmm. Professor oh. and, and Delphina notice the Imdra immediately is stone faces even more than she normally is. Are, are, are you okay? Do, do you want some of my lavender tea? I uh, told you the wine wasn't good. I, I warned you. I do not want tea. I thank you, wine. Uh, I am not going to be drinking just yet. Is and there a problem? That's her. Who? The, okay. What, do, don't look. But the woman who just walked in with the two guards. Don't look, Delphi. The uh, woman. Oh, 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 okay. And so just look at me. Look hand, at me. She put no, the hand look, up. No, stop that. And look it, at me. Just and look she me. turns just and looks look at you with Delphi, the hand up. Delphi, look at me. Look at me. I, oh, oh, thank oh, you. Oh, okay. You're doing great. Oh, hi. Just I'm nice Delphi. Me. Yeah, you're just. Yes, oh, thank you. Thank you. Jeez. Oh, nine hells. Okay. So. The woman who just walked in, do not look, with the two guards. Yep. Is the one I saw with Prue, Prudence, unloading the prisoners when they got in to Targos. That's, that's Kreia, you mean? Yes. Oh, do, do, do we, should we bring her over? Or? No, no. Should we, just, I, should we just attack her then? That is a poor choice to be in the one establishment in the town that I can actually sit and have a drink at, I do not wish to burn it to the ground. Does she recognize you on site? I don't know. I know Prue would, Prudence would. Why do you keep saying Prue and then correcting it to Prudence? Because I, I haven't used her full name in a very long time. Delphi. Oh, is it like like a nickname? Like a, like a secret club? Like we everyone can, calls me Delphi. We can stop talking about it. My name is Delphina, it. though. We can stop talking about it right now. That'd be great. Okay. 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 Good. So we need yeah. to figure out where they're keeping their prisoners. Do you think she's thinking about it right now? I could just like read her, read her thoughts. Uh, you can do that? Yes, sorry. Yes, I'm, I'm quite useful. Um, How long have you been able to do that? Can't remember. Oh. As in, like, it's... Re re you know what? I don't need to know. I don't want to know. This is, yeah. Yes, please try to read her thoughts. That would be the best way forward. If Just we need to know what they want. I mean, unless she's like constantly thinking like, oh, I can't believe I just kidnapped those people and hid them over there, then this might not be any good unless we can like actively get her thinking about it. But, you know, we'll start here. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and cast Detect Thoughts and see if I can get her th surface thoughts fished. Okay. Uh initially it is there there are overtones of oh man this place is so much nicer than the luskin but it uh it's filled with just a bunch of do-gooders here Susie may and her husband and their 14 daughters and she's looking around and see it sees all of you and not really a whole lot of extras for the for the list but you know it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, see, she's just thinking about garbage thoughts. Uh, what What did she say? Uh, something about Susie May and her 14 kids and yeah. someone else for the list. Did she, the list? Oh, shit. The, uh, oh. the two guards and Kriya and Josie begin to walk over and, mm. uh, and Josie is kind of pointing out that you your group is kind of the only group you know there's no one else kind of hiding about mm -hmm. one of the guards hello 
new moon tomorrow night everyone in the city as of sundown today must register for the frost maiden sacrifice lottery sir he looks at you professor your name for the list sir what is this for i'm sorry i frost maiden I... sacrifice lottery yeah, I, so it's really hard for me to listen to two things at once. Could you move on to someone else for just a minute, please? He looks around as though, is, is someone else speaking? You'll have to forgive my father. He is rather dotty, but uh, we do try to take care of him. His name is Archibald Featherstring. I am his daughter, Jessica Featherstring. And this, of course, is my sister, Ileana. Make a deception check. Please. And I don't suppose anyone can assist me with that as I have the do gooderiest You know what? You're lucky that you don't have it at, at disadvantage because if, if Delphi, if Chael were actually here, Delphi would be absolutely unintentionally undercutting you. Oh, that's absolutely so, true. You're right. All right. Um, uh, can I, does me just actually being a daughtery old man constitute any kind of help <laughs> <laughs> he, he andrew's trying to go for three names here and present a family structure so fair uh so weirdly enough my character sheet does have inspiration can i roll with that absolutely yeah oh lovely all right i'm gonna burn that i'm gonna burn that now so let's roll that bad boy come on come on come on oh lovely uh a solid double nine Thanks, cold hard witch. <laughs> the, uh, man, she even though you're you you have had to move on from this, she is still the coldest, hardest of all. Oh man. So uh, the the uh, the guard absolutely writes down the uh, uh, Jess, Jessica Featherstring. The guard totally eats it. Um Kriya, on the other hand, almost as this is in going it. on, I want to delve deeper into her mind. That's what I'm. Tr what I was trying to listen to yeah. as the guard was talking to us. Gotcha. So, no, I understood uh, that. He just didn't understand that exactly. Yeah. And so um, you you hear. Uh, well, she has to. She has a chance for a wisdom save. Oh, I'm sorry. You're actually doing the. Yeah, the I'm. Pr I'm probing probe. into her mind and trying to see if I can figure out where these things are, where these people oh, are being hidden. Um. Yeah. So what's the save on that? Uh, DC 15, unless this staff also gives me a bonus to my saves, which I don't know if it does. Uh, no, it just spell you... attack rolls. Okay. And so it's a wisdom save? Correct. DC 15. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that helps me with this. She, uh, she handily beats that save. And so now she's aware that you tried to press in. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> well i didn't want to burn this in down but eh, you know shame Shink. <laughs> no, she uh she she's yeah. looking at imdra and uh with the names and you hear her begin to say hmm strange uh, a whole new family in it Ooh, maybe not as daughtery as he is led us to believe. And she, her, her thoughts go from Indra like straight to you. But still, on the outside, she almost like a snake slithers down Indra into the open chair that you left. Ooh, and as she breaks, still... the, as she beats that save, she breaks the spell. Also, okay, this uh, this is still nice and warm. Someone. Someone warmed us up all for me and just let me take it. Um, are you all new in town? I, I didn't know many families uh, still moved about in the 10 towns. We're and just, she's looking right at you, Indra. Just passing through. I look at the guard. So if I understand it correctly, if we are not in town by the time of the full moon, we shouldn't be a part of the lottery? Well, no, I'm I'm sorry that, uh, as per the laws of Targos, this is Kriya, who is answering you. Per the laws of Targos, uh, 
if you were here at sundown the night before the new moon, uh, you we must insist that you do not leave before the drawing tomorrow evening. And she turns to Delphi. So tell me where you're from. Where are you passing from and passing to, my dear? And Delphi, her bubbles are bubbles, but she's definitely looking to you for support, Indra, or the professor. She's looking to somebody. Yes. So, excuse me, I was distracted. Uh, a lottery, you say, that sounds exciting. Um, what is this for? Well, I'm, I'm sure you noticed that... Uh, uh I'm sure you've noticed that the the unending winter is uh well unending and the the frost maiden demands certain sacrifices and Targos is one of the ten towns who has chosen to to give blood as their sacrifice to the frost maiden to maybe appease her and and stop this uh well this continuing hardships for us all so everyone who's in town at uh, sundown beats their name put in a lottery and it's drawn the next day and that person is stripped bare and sent out onto the ice into the nothingness a sacrifice for the frost maiden what if they just walk back well, the guards on top of the wall uh, don't allow that. And I don't know if you've ever been naked outside here, but you don't really have that long to make much of a play. Hmm. I'm sure and, we'll... To, to what purpose is all this? I mean, that seems entirely frugal. Well, you, you heard her, father. Uh, <laughs> several of the towns feel that they need to make sacrifices and some of the more civilized ones decide that up in the ante is a great way to appease the frost maiden and i'm sure the uh the list providers are also written down i i didn't quite catch your name should i look for it on the list you absolutely may. And she motions to the guard who sets the list down. The very first name on the list is uh, Speaker Nareth Maxledanar. Um, you uh, give me a perception check with advantage. Mm -hmm. Sure would like. Oh, oh 23, what? a crit. A crit. Huzzah. Uh, right. Yeah, you uh you for sure you see Josie and Theobald and you see the names of, of all the five girls. You see Prudence Tarkwald and you see Kriya Hylas written on there. <clears throat> well and then and so as you're reading it, she she like kind of right across your face and down onto the list points out her name. That's uh that's me there. Ah. Uh, Kreia. Mm. What a lovely name. Well, thank you. Is well, this one that your father likes as well? And she'll look at you, Professor. Yeah, yes, me, of course. Oh, uh, I, I like it too. I, my, my name's Delphina. I like it a lot. Hmm. What did you say her name was? And she's I'm, back on you. She uh, she likes it when people call her Delphina. Her middle name is Delphina, Jessica Delphina mm. Featherstring. Mm. But of course, she and she takes the, the 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 quill and she under that name she writes Delphina with like a little carrot in the middle there. Jessica Delphina. That is a beautiful beautiful name, isn't it? And that's why, of course, she's rather young and doesn't prefer to go by the name she's known. But what are you going to do, kids, these days? Mm. Mm. So of all these months and years of sacrifices that you've made, has it made one ounce of difference at all? 
Well, I, I would say that it is difficult to prove a negative, so I will say yes, it has made at least an ounce of difference. In what way? In what way has it not? Well, where, where are I you mean, logic would state that if the status quo know... has remained entirely the same the entire time, then then that would constitute no difference. Am I, but am to I not incorrect? Know, to not know about the sacrifices, which have been going on for at least two years now in Icewind Dale. As I said, months and, months and years, yes. But, but you, sir, seem to not know at all about them. Would you... I'm so sorry. It's the first I've heard of them phrased as a lottery. Uh, well, uh, Archie, Dad, calm down. Uh, but he, simple scientific reason would state Archie, that. Archie, and like, <laughs> I'm just going to like grab the professor's one remaining arm and kind of squeeze it unnecessarily. They're like, just calm down. You see, than my, your mother was. <clears throat> you see, my father is. Again, a bit scattered. He has, he's come in touch with some strange magics out there in the ice. And uh, it's left him a bit befuddled and contentious. But I assure you, uh, he is harmless. So at this, we're going to take just a half a slice here. Uh, Zalvana, having come in and seen them, you had spent time in the bathroom because that man, that uh, that travel in the the ice teleporter sometimes does a number on your stomach, and uh, <laughs> you you come out to see uh, two of the guards who had noticed you bamf in, uh, and a woman who you don't know sitting at the table, talking to uh, Imdra and the professor and Delphi, uh, and you hear Imdra re- refer to the professor as her father. So you're you're coming up into this just. Onto the scene. All right. What's going on, guys? Ah, and would this be your mother? Quite young to be mother of two. This is my personal assistant. Hmm. What what is your name, my dear? Um, Anna. Roll a deception check. Cat, you're not helping with the deception. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you're on a roll. <laughs> Anna. Oh, ooh. Monopia. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, uh. I mean, it's, it's almost a, a bad Bond girl name. Um, it, 25. <gasps> yeah, girl. Well, that's what I needed. Finally, someone who is let's say more truthful than the others. Uh, thank you, Anna. And, and, and your surname? Um, Devereaux. Anna Devereaux. <laughs> thank you. And she, she turns to Josie. And uh, no, no, one, no one else here in the, the building other than you and your family and this very fine family and assistant. Uh, at, at that line, no. I will contact Flynn and be like, uh, Flynn, feel free to take your time. We've got, uh, I mean, but also be ready at any moment's notice to come charging out to our aid. Uh, uh, Flynn, I want you to tell me what the bleed through is that as the professor contacts you to deliver a message of warning. Yes, through this. What bleed, what bleed through he gets back into his head? Um, uh, so- a little bit of tempo change, just a little. Bit. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta use the hips. I gotta hear this. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't use the hips. They don't lie. <laughs> um, Flynn, time, danger, charge, ready. <laughs> Are you having a stroke? No, that's what I hear from, I'm distracted. So this is all I hear from the professor. I, I think it might be her professor that's having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not having it because she's getting it. Hey! <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting the vapors up in here. <laughs> oh, 
hold on, hold on. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so, do you have yes, a, a reply? To, just, just to reiterate, uh, don't show your face unless you hear me, like mentally scream at you, and then crash into the room, very heroically. The safe word is pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> safe word is cat. <laughs> oh, okay. He's so angry. He's like, I'm gonna go shut the internet off again, Mom. I know. Oh my God. Uh, so, do you have a response, Flynn, for the professor? Yeah, sure. Great. Uh huh. Good. Good. Good talk. Good plan. <laughs> um, as all of that is transpiring, you hear Josie. No, it's it's just just the family and and these nice people. Business has been slower than normal it always gets slow around the time of the new moon i mean she she's being cordial and on the edge of subservient but you can tell she has no fucks to give to kriya about any of this well it has been a pleasure meeting all of you. Um, again, it, it is the law. Um, we must insist that you stay, not leave, before tomorrow evening at the time of the, of the sacrificial drawing. Um, and if, you, if your name is drawn, you are expected immediately to, uh, to submit to that. And he, she looks dead in your face, Embra. And no heroic chasing after them on the ice. So... I will bid you all good night, sleep well, enjoy Targos. And she stands and drops like two gold on the table for your drinks and turns and heads with the guards out. Josie shows her out and Josie closes the door. She doesn't slam it, but she doesn't just shut it either. You can tell she's, she's, pushing the the bleeding edge of being insubordinate there but staying within reason i'm gonna turn to like the professor and be like so there's a sacrifice yes they're they're sacrificing citizens to Oriel. uh they oh, seem to be holding they, they seem to be holding a, a lottery drawing to decide who that will be every single one of the tens towns does it they don't not everyone sacrifices a human per se. Uh, sometimes we do food. Sometimes they do light, where everyone just you know turns off their uh, 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 goes with a, a night of darkness. But see, that is the kind of symbolic gesture that I could see people rallying behind. Well, there oh. are certain elements here in Targos that. Oh, have you heard of the Zentarum? Yes. Is that who you mean? Because they seem to be have uh, quite a foothold in this place. So the rumors go. Yes, so the rumors go. <laughs> Though, so, no, go, please. Uh, I, I, was... I long for a conversation with a human who isn't. Uh, well, your father apparently. No, she um, means me. I, I I totally wig her out because I'm really bubbly. No, no, you're you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> so, Zilvana... oh, neither of them are human, by the way. I'm an speaking. Azamar, and so is Zavana. We've known each other for a long time. Dude, she knows my mom. Well. <laughs> Please don't tell my mom about the stuff we've been up to. Uh, so, um, do you know why here in Targos they are doing sacrifices of humans instead of, you know, other things? It is typically done in some of the larger cities where the population is bigger, but if I had to take my guess at it, I would say that there are certain elements in Targos who benefit from individuals being sent out onto the ice and that the lottery might not be as random as one might think. Ah. I feel foolish having come here at this time of month. It's, it is a risk to all of you, but uh, we have to know who those prisoners are and, and I have to try to get pr prudence out of here. Prisoners? Our friends, yes. Uh, uh, ah. Xander and uh, 
Ferial. Uh, so when I when I first arrived here, I had been following Prudence and the woman who just left, Crea. Uh, she had been. They had both been trans. A lot has happened, Zolvana. And mm. I, a long pee break. Prudence handed over the, the speakership of East Haven to some idiot, uh, Bartholomew uh, Vera. He, uh, no, no one voted on it. She just handed it to him, and then they took the cauldron from East Haven and left. They just left, and they headed for Targos. And, of course, I, I followed because something didn't seem right. Didn't trust that Kreia as far as I could throw her, and, oh, my God, do I want to throw her? So uh, I followed them to... Uh, to to Targos, and that is where I discovered them taking prisoners uh, off the ship. And now I've discovered that two of the harbingers are missing, and apparently one of your harp one of one of you is missing an, an arm, and and Herrick is gone now. Yes, you left you left East Haven less than a week ago, and <laughs> some like things so have happened. Stronger. Oh, and Flynn is. Taking, he's in the back. Well, I, he's, he's in a You room. don't know that yet. You don't know that yet. Uh, I sent you all a chat in the Zoom. Oh, we said it. <laughs> so, and Flynn is um, mm -hmm. taking a level of exhaustion. Mm. That's one way to put it. Mm. So, Zolvana, so how, how, how strong is the uh, the cult of the black sword? How many numbers do we have at our disposal? I mean, we're pretty strong. I'm sorry, what? And Indra, um, approximately how do you know how deep or how many agents the Zan Tarum have within this city? No one knows that, Professor. I. I Unless you are part of the Zentarum. Uh, I mean, there could be agents in this bar right now. I'm just trying to weigh the pros and cons of, of like starting an all-out war between a couple of ten towns and if that would disrupt things enough to possibly cause some change enough to do some good. I mean, typically, outbursts of violence like that don't lead... I mean, but it has been useful in, in, in some occasions. I don't you have to remember that each of the ten towns is a fairly remote. Uh, you have to think of them almost as uh, uh, clans or uh, 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 tribes. E each of the ten towns sort of has their own way of running their own businesses. Uh, yes, Targos is a very sizable town, and to try to bring some of the other towns against it, they would wipe them no, off the map. No, 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 yeah, no, not other towns. I was actually uh, in, uh, counting on its isolation and the uh, uh, the the single-mindedness of a lot of the ten towns because I didn't want Targos calling for aid or anything like that if we just, like, rolled an army in and just started disrupting things. Hmm. How this would you roll an army? Yeah, uh, oh. I think he. I think he means uh, bring an army, Delphi. Uh, they don't. Oh, oh, like like an arm, like the professor's arm. Just. I'm so glad you're here, Silvana. I'm... <laughs> Me too. I'm glad you're here. Do you want to see my goat? Wait, when did you get a goat? Delphina reaches into her pouch and she pulls out a uh, a slightly off white scrimshaw goat about this big with just an enormous member and she's holding him up by the hips and not at the member and you you just see just she looks at it and she blushes and she turns away and well, the 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 speaker of, of bremen gave it to me it it's a family heirloom and and he told me to keep it and the it's just bobbing she's holding it and it's just bobbing up and down I was going to lend it to Flynn if, if, if he needed it for whatever he's doing. Uh, let's not ask until later. All right. Okay. Um, she throws yeah. it back in her. 
Yeah, I, yeah. Let's let's put that away. Okay. So yes. Uh, so short term, I I understand. Cult of the Black Sword is quite useful, but I don't know if they're quite army status, and I and they certainly wouldn't be able to make it here before the sacrifice is drawn. Uh, yeah, I'm still not I, convinced. I'm still not convinced of the plan. There's a lot of details to work out. It could go catastrophically wrong, but right. So in the focus, short in the short in the short term, we should focus on on this lottery and possibly leave the war for later. Yes, um, let's leave wars for later. Yeah, I think we can do more damage with uh, you know strategically placed uh, blows, if you will. So yeah, let's let's. Let's just work with what we have. Flynn, hey, it was all about hey, that. Flynn. Hey, Flynn, are you? Hey. Are you? Could you join us out here? We have got. We've uh, we have some discussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Discussions. I'll be there. Be there in five. Be there in a few. Be there in a minute. I mean, if you're still busy, we could just leave this link open, and I could just cl- like loop you in. No, I'll be over. We- I'll be over in a minute. It's gotta. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, nope, there we go. There it is. Back in line. Back in line. All right, no, I'll be there in a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you get some water? Um, probably some oranges. Uh, it's like the biggest thing of water, probably anything with like a mm-hmm. electrolytes. Hydration. <laughs> they have wine, and it's not very good. Uh, some ice, maybe? Uh, <laughs> ice um, we go probably outside. could find, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, under the notes that you're that you're t- telepathying, Josie brings over another round of drinks and some some food. To uh, is there anything else I can I can get for you all? I uh, I know that it was unfortunate for them to to be in here. I mean, unfortunate that you're here on this of all nights of the month. But uh, we uh, no, that that's quite all right. Um, and no, uh, do you have any fruit? Uh yeah, I I I I actually think there's a small crate of oranges in the back. Um uh, get, would you would you like some? Yeah, just one of those was requested, yes. Sure. Okay. Uh anything else? Uh no, that's uh quite all right. I've got uh yeah, and I'll snap and uh, cru- <laughs> and, and and she uh she disengages from you and looks at the others, the other three people. Anything else for any of the three of you? Josie, where's the lottery drawn? Uh, normally it is uh, on the same little stage where they have the, uh, the, the stew every, every day. Mm, all right. it's, it's paraded out in, in a box and, and brought to there and there's a big speech about how great Targos is. And then the speaker ceremoniously reaches his hand in to pull the slip of paper. I see. Well, thank you very much. It's good what to did know. the speaker do before he was a speaker? Hmm. I, I, I don't know. He, um, he showed up and uh, began to spread around a lot of coin and made friends with the fishermen and the and the fishing guild and the 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 ship's right guild and um he wasn't like a seemed... gleeman or a magician or or some sort of sleight of hand artist previously uh, he, was he? he was from somewhere along the sword coast uh, but i i know i don't know exactly where he he showed up and started spreading money around and fast fast friends of lots of different people and when would you the, describe when him the most as a recent election, when the most recent election came they voted the old speaker out and uh voted him in um i don't know if i would say he's a charlatan he's he's a bit of a blowhard but um i mean if the people here can afford the five dollar stew they're making money somehow i hmm. she kind of looks around she's like there's no way that seven of us could go get five dollar five gold per bowl stew so i don't know i don't know what the others are into so maybe he's a charlatan or maybe he's just keeping to his own and making them profitable yeah to be honest professor i heard about his election and he 
came by it honestly, which is more than I can say for some speakers. My first thought was a sleight of hand. Trick would be the easiest way to ensure a certain name came from the lottery, but it's certainly there. It's not the only way there. There's probably, in fact, many ways to ensure the lottery goes goes the way you intend. No, absolutely. Um, and so now, Professor will say that if you've called for Krufiel, he will he will pop in. What took ah, you so long? Yeah, I'm sorry, Master. The sometimes the wind. Uh, you all see a a, a a an icy looking imp just appear out of nowhere. Uh, and Joe sees it. Oh, ah. Imdra and almost it, like immediately reaches for her sword as and, like and, that that pops off as she starts to sort of. And Del- Delphina immediately is like, oh, Crufiel, oh, hi, you're back. And she picks up some, I don't know, some, something off of the table, some, some little potato good or something, and begins to try to feed it to him as he's speaking to the professor. What uh, the master frozen the, sometimes the wind hell I, is I, that? I've bound an ice imp to my service, yes. Uh, Crufiel. When did this happen? I, like last night. Uh, oh, yes, oh, but, but look, I taught him how to eat. Look, and, uh, uh, this, uh, this, this, this is good. Yes, this, this is bad. This is good. And just bits of <laughs> potato are just falling out of his mouth because uh, he's just chewing without remembering to close his lips around them. And so Delphi is showing you how well she's taught him how to eat and just Cru- fucking potato carnage all over the table. Potato carnage. Crufiel, to, to reiterate, you don't, you don't have to eat that. Uh, 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 yeah, yes, thank you, Master. Uh, thank you, Delphina. Uh, uh, yes, real quick, Krufiel. Uh, Flynn had a request. Could you please head outside? I will like take my wine glass and just like empty it onto the floor. Uh, could you please, uh, Josie, collect some Josie ice sees snow? that, but she's still like just all of you and Krufiel, and she's like. You don't want me to get those oranges, and she just fucking like leaves you guys. <laughs> and he, he so he takes the, gra- the glass. Uh, yes, master. You, you could you just could you just head outside real quick and collect some some ice or snow, perhaps for Flynn, please. Uh, would you prefer ice or snow? Uh, ice, if you could find it. Yes. Mm. Are you cold? Can I just like grab him? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean he's he is he's cool to the touch to to you at least. He's cool to the touch. Uh, but he does not. Uh, he does not seem to be like radiating cold or anything. Krufiel, two, two questions. Um, mm, uh, c- is, this, could, is this before the ice or after the ice? No, real quick before the ice. Could you perhaps, through your mere existence, be used to chill drinks? And second of all, would you consider that task to be terribly beneath your station? Uh, nothing is beneath my station that master requires, but. Uh, I, I, I've never been asked to become a drink chiller, so I am, I am at your leisure to try, sir. Are you ice? I keep trying to, mm, it's very fascinating. I cannot decide if you are or not. Anyway, uh, yes, please ice outside. Uh, perhaps we'll run some experiments later. Ah, Did he wish. just ask if he could have a cold drink in the dale? Ooh. Cru- I, was just, I was merely asking if it was possible. Yes. Cru- Flynn, as you're coming out, you see Crufiel like trying to hold a wine glass and deal with the doorknob. And you see Theobald like inch over really close and like open the door for him, but keeping his distance. And Crufiel does his little half bow and flies out. Crufiel, use the window next time. You know, ah, yes, yeah, very good, Master. Very good. <sighs> oh, okay. All right. Um, uh, sorry, everyone, Flynn, I meant everyone, to have your ice, but Krufio's very <laughs> slow today. Everyone, make a perception check. Flynn, make yours with advantage. Oof, eight. Oof, four. Four uh, on a one on a nat one. Yeah, with a nat one. Uh, Imdra is just absolutely like jaw on the floor watching Krufio just sort of like flutter out so she doesn't notice shit in terms of something going on in the room because she's just like what in the nine hell i has i has 12 18 uh (laughs) flynn you notice um theobald is giving you the eye and it's not like an angry eye but it's like 
<sighs> it's he's not mad. He's just disappointed. And he's not disappointed in you. He's disappointed in his little girl. But uh but oh, but, that's just but, mean. But I he, feel like but it's he, less disappointment and more like she's on the clock. I'm like uh, <laughs> it was there was no L in that. Um nah. as <laughs> As he turns back, Josie has a couple of oranges and a, and a, a pitcher of water, and she looks at Theobald, and, with, and she gives him a knock it off. And he he kind of shakes his head and, and gets back to that, and she comes over, Flynn, and right next to you sits down the oranges and the, the water. Uh, he said to only bring one orange, but I, I had a feeling it wasn't for him. Thank you. As I pick up the picture and just <laughs> chug the... Krufio is bringing your ice. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Good. Also, I'm... Josie will leave you all. Especially, <laughs> with the, especially with the mention of bringing ice inside. Uh, uh, th- 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 thank you. Thank you. All right. So. Mm. Now that I've helped you, I feel like I must... <laughs> Let you know I, that seems terribly poor taste. What does your actions? I'm she, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. The professor, you professor, <laughs> are calling someone out on their poor behavior. It just seems rude. I don't. It's well, icy I'll, as heck I'll, outside. I'll yeah, we can have fun sometime. We're are, are, we're amenable. Um, I is, is, with um, Glenn having drained that pitcher of water, you see the the barmaid terrace that he had disappeared with, just radiantly glowing. And she brings <laughs> another pitcher out and sets it down, and with a kind of a flirty butt whip turn, turns and and with a crooked smile on her face, heads back to the bar. Just, just looking, just looking. <laughs> oh, it's nothing but the dog gave me, baby. <laughs> yep. As What's I wrong? She, was she, What's was wrong? she nice? Was she nice, Flynn? I, I offered, to, they didn't say you didn't need any help. I was going to let you use the goat. Did you, did you, was everything nope. okay? Did, did need the, no, oh, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, it was, no, she was, nice is a word for it, uh-huh. So there's a lottery that's going to be happening. Someone is going, names is going to be drawn. I don't yeah. doubt for a second. It might be somebody here at this table as we are relatively new to town and they typically don't give a crap about it. And that person is going to be sent to die. Now, that being said, there are still the matter of two prisoners that we have seen come into this town. Hope I, I presume that two of your party members. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, Flid, we may have managed to keep your name out of the lottery since you were uh, disposed. Or indisposed? My grammar escapes me. But yes, uh, I don't believe your name was entered onto the list. Uh, also, I believe we used false names, so that might be to our benefit. Cool, cool, cool. Keep a fake name. I'm not here. Uh, we'll use me to scout out our missing friends, and uh, we'll send somebody out on the ice with a rescue plan. Yeah, I tried to read her mind to see if she might yes. review where, uh, where they were hidden, but she... What did she did she mention any locations here in town? Did she say anything about No, she 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 fought off my attempts to pry quite quite easily, it seems. There's a huge whack at the window, and you all <laughs> snap your heads around and look, and it's Crufiel with the wine glass and a giant fucking piece of ice that doesn't fit in the glass. And he's like trying to get through the window with it all. I'll, I'll stand up, or t- stand up. I'll use my telekinesis to open the window. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, like, start to stand up. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, okay, so, Embry, you see the professor kind of half stand and then sit back down, and then just with mind bullets, the window kind of creaks open, and Crufiel ducks in and flies over. And again, he has a regular, like, eight-ounce wine glass with what might be like 25 ounces of ice just kind of perched on the top of it. Thank you, Crufio. Ah, Excellent yes, job. Master. Ah, Flynn, you, you have returned. Mm. No, oh, thank you. Thank you. Just, just smash it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like yeah, he meant like smash it on the dumb. ground, and I was that's, like, holy! Sh-. You know what? I thought he meant smash power it move in, into ah. his nether regions. Um, as you're chewing on the ice, Delphine is, oh, oh, yes, that that's how I taught Krufiel how to eat. Ah, uh, uh, yes, and he picks a piece of ice up and. Uh, yes. So now that we are all here, can we discuss some sort of plan? Um, all right. So we got a lottery coming up, right? In which one of one of us will very likely be sent out onto ice for something or other. The details aren't important. Um, yeah. DM. Yeah. So uh, given that, so do we have like a night's rest before that happens, or like is it? Yeah. So it's it's in what you would consider like. I mean, it's. It's always basically dark here, but it's kind of in the the nine, you know, eight o'clock, nine o'clock p.m. range, and the the drawing is at sundown tomorrow. Okay, uh, so you've got basically a whole day less, you know, two or three hours. It's like okay. 20, 20, 22 hours, something like that. So Flynn, you were saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. So if we got the time until the lottery comes, we should probably make a break for. They're prisoners tonight. Um, and that way, if we cause enough trouble, we'll be kicked out of town by tomorrow. Or uh, it'll, get, it'll give us some time to think of a, an escape plan for whoever's got to walk out into uh, open frozen ice. That was that would be my, that, my consideration as well. Uh, the lottery is concerning, but as... Oh, I was going to say, probability might be in our favor, but if they are using the lot of, lottery to to simply select who they wish, then maybe maybe our odds is not as not as good as I had hoped. But the predicament of our friends seems to be our, our most pressing issue. Although I do have some plans about how to affect the lottery. Some of which are promising. Ooh, do tell. You know, I think with <laughs> with that, because now I'm super intrigued, I think we're going to take a, a break real, real quick and let them think about what shenanigans they're going to try to get up to in the next few minutes here. Welcome back from our from our break. Uh, if you're just joining us or forgotten what happened in the last uh, eight minutes, the uh, Zalvana has has come back from her her business dealings at Caradineval and has found the party at the uh, the the inn with a, a very nice family. The the Wolf's Pelt Inn, I think it's called. I'll mm-hmm. retcon that if it's not. It um, is. Wolf's Pelt, got it. Captain Imdra uh, from East Haven uh, has been explaining some of the goings on that's happened uh, just just in the last week uh, following the former speaker of East Haven, East Haven here and they've all had their names or some names put on a list to be drawn uh, as part of the Frost Maiden sacrifice that happens every new moon um, Flynn has a level of exhaustion already from the last hour and is uh, <laughs> they're they're discussing a plan to <laughs> to to rescue some prisoners to stage a siege and a breakout of prisoners that they don't know where they are and that is maybe the most compelling kind of breakout that there can be. My friends, please continue with your plan. Well, as I was saying, most of my plans involve how to screw up this lottery. Um, but I think we should back burner a lot of those and try to figure out what we can do for our friends here. We still have what passes for a night and a day here in Targos. Uh, DM, do we know... Uh, so, uh, uh, does Imdra know any of the other locations in Targos, is she aware of the yes, other yes, and I can I can actually switch you over to the Targos map, and you can uh, discuss some of them. I, I, since I I don't know if I got you all that info in the handout or not. Uh, if I didn't, you can say explain this to me, and I will give you a description of it. So yeah, right. So I'll switch to the big map of Targos. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Cool, 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 cool. What's a Triglio? So the Triglio is a general store. What the Triglio? I'm getting the uh, map resized for the folks at home. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so Triglio is a uh, just a general goods store. Okay. From what I understand of Targos, if there were prisoners, they would likely be held at the Luskin Arms. That is considered the hub of activity here in Targos. Yeah, I um, I went there right before I came here just to see if you guys were there and coincidentally, and there was a ton of guards out there. What is the Luskin Arms? Oh. I'm yes. sorry, I, I, I didn't know if, if Ember was going to say anything or not. Uh, the, the Luskin no, Arms. No, 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 in... but... Uh, but... No, sorry. So uh, in... Sorry, Kreia thought something about the Luskin Arms. Did she, did she... What? I... Professor, I specifically asked you if she mentioned any locations in I thought Targos. she meant the town of Luskin. I didn't know That's... the Luskin Arms was... No a one place. calls Luskin Luskin Arms. What do you... What do you... I just heard the word Luskin. Anyway, yes. No, she did mention something there. So, uh, I'm sorry. Continue. Continue, Zalvana. Yes. <sighs> oh, I'm... So I you saw a ton was, of guards? What, yeah, like... it, was, it was pretty... It was pretty well guarded. I didn't take a, a head count. I was just trying to be charming, trying so, to find you. I know the speaker was there, but that's all I know. Yeah, I was going to say the Luskin Arms is sort of so. While Targos does have a town hall, the Luskin Arms is sort of the de facto headquarters of the speaker, um, where Prudence kept her office in the town hall uh, and her residence elsewhere. Uh, from the way I understand it, the speaker here, uh, Nareth, he sort of runs the town from the Luskin Arms. Why not use the town hall? What is the town hall used for? You know, typical town hall, like fishing license. I mean, you, this Targos has the largest say, like fishing fleet in the Ten Towns, so... Uh, the, the usual town hall stuff and grievances and Oh, someone stole my cattle, and oh, I need to build another addition onto my shop, and oh, you can't do that. Because, these sort of things. Oh, oh, my, there are cattle in the Tin Towns? Oh, can we go see them? Flynn, can we go see the cattle? Uh, not in the next couple of days. We've got, st- oh. if we if we come across the cattle during things, sure, but let's... We- oh, okay, uh, maybe we can get another statue to, to go with the goat that, that is a cow. That'd be a bull. Um, okay. <laughs> she seems to consider your word. <laughs> and the, this the slightest bit of pink on her cheeks as she considers them. And then she <laughs> goes back to her tea. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Chael. Uh, so if it's if it's this heavily guarded, does does anyone have any ideas of how we might get in? Um, we could cause a destruction on one side of town, and then have all the guards need to go over there, and then sneak in. Or if mm-hmm. any of y'all are stealthy enough, could probably try to slip your way in. I mean, I feel uh, like professor, you could probably uh, cause a you know, a scene, possibly? Yes, absolutely. I mean, absolutely I could. Um, Krufiel. Mm, yes, yes, Mass. He's still, like, chewing on the bits of ice. Are you yes, enjoying Are you enjoying that ice? Uh, if you enjoy it, I enjoy it, sir. It's, this, it's good. This is good. This is bad. This is good. No, this, this is good. good. This is good. It's good. This is good. It's good if it feels good for you. I just don't want you to feel obligated. You don't. You only need to. Never mind. Uh, are you able to b- turn yourself invisible? And he thinks, and he tries, and he makes all sorts of different things. Um, and re- remind me, Pike, what I told you on the... Did I tell you he could in the, in the specs of it? Um, 
It says let's go back to the Discord there because I am the I'll re the I'll end. repost it. It doesn't uh, say he can't go invisible. You just uh, you well, deleted shape changer. Uses, it says he uses regular oh regular familiar features. Oh yeah, yeah you said right. regular familiar deleted... features, but that isn't actually a thing. What right, right, mean? right. I I did uh I did only delete shape changer. So yeah, if if turning invisible is in the stat block, then he can turn invisible. And so yes, he he tries and rests and does all sorts of contortions and movements, and then pop, he is gone. And Professor, you see there's just like the the slightest little shimmer of his outline, but the rest of you see nothing. It, it is though the professor has dismissed him. Kruvia, will you please speak out loud to ensure the others that you are indeed still present? Mm, ab absolutely. I yes, I I am still here. You see a piece of ice come up off the table and nope. the familiar crunching and just nope. like in the middle of the thin air ice bits nope. kind of falling off. <laughs> no, oh, oh, no, 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 this is bad. I I this is bad. I he's looking he's looking at you, Ember, but you can't see it, but the teeth are <laughs> kind of looking at you in the ice. It, oh, no, no, this is this is not good. This is bad. I hate it. Bad. <laughs> like, I hate it. So then, look I, at me. then I will oh. stop. Uh, no, Krufio, uh, look yes, at me. You, yes, you do, yes, master. You're doing, you're doing great. You're doing great. Don't mind don't mind her. Uh I, I so do, yeah, so yeah Krufio mm -hmm. might be uh potentially incredibly useful uh for getting too some kind. more information about the about the Luskin arms here. You are too kind. Too Good. Kind of well, the Luskin arms is a public house, so anyone's allowed to go in it. it it's, a, it's a business, so uh, we could go inside. I would hesitate to enter myself, but I could stay nearby, or perhaps, uh, Flynn, you mentioned some sneaking about that might be done uh yeah i was thinking if there's enough guards there we create a distraction in which those guards were needed um <laughs> then uh clear clear way in for everyone else is that was that busting and entering or is that a <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can help sneak if uh if we need a, if it's a two person job. I oh god, I couldn't. Mm -mm. <laughs> Cold Heart Witch, ladies and gentlemen. Cold Heart Witch. <laughs> two person jobs all the way down. <laughs> okay, sorry. <clears throat> Professional. So yeah. All right. If it is indeed a public house, where where might they be holding prisoners where they wouldn't be noticed or, or commented on or, or risk being discovered? Well, it, it is one of the oldest buildings in Targos. So... Do we have any way to dig? The Dargar were able to... Enter oh, the you say Dargar and fucking Imdras is like... Oh. We never yes, see, but, but their their plan was 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 quite good. We they nearly entered the town hall completely unnoticed. If yes, we could if we could steal their methods, perhaps. But I don't. I I for one am not great at. All right, show of hands. Anyone here uh, proficient at mining or digging? Uh, oh, no, but I want to learn. And... Does, that, does that count? So I think the mining bit is out, but bonus points for enthusiasm. Do we have any way of taming an ice worm? Oh dear God! At this at this time uh, of day, uh, uh, ice worms are are notoriously ill ill tempered. Rufio, that was that was that was. Thank you for your input. I hear it, and I still hate it. <laughs> Oh, and he, the, and you saying that you hate it, he turns himself back visible again. And now he's just kind of like right in front of you. And this, the toothy smile, it, it's not at all vicious, but it also isn't pleasant. Uh, and so it's just, it's like all teeth and like just oh, yeah. like saliva dripping. <laughs> now imagine he's just like, eyes. 
is is this is this better to to you M madam ma'am ma madam no. ma'am ma'am madam captain captain yeah yes captain is appropriate Crufio, you seem to be unnerving the captain. Come, ha come have a seat. Come have a seat. <laughs> oh, he can sit on my arm. I Duffy don't. Holds her arm out, and so then now Crufio is again, just like in the last episode in in the showdown. He doesn't know if he should come to the professor or oh. go to Delphi's arm. I don't like magic. I mean, is he magical? I, I do not know. Your control I have to run of him. Your control of him certainly is magical. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he's is just... he himself magic? I mean, surely the invisibility part uh, would indicate some bit of magic to him. But is... Imdra reaches over and like picks up like whatever is left of like the chunk of ice that Flynn was eating, and goes, "You see this? This is what ice should look like. This is what ice should do." She drops the ice, and the ice just sort of like hits the deck, hits the table, and falls. That is not what ice does. Oh, well, technically, I am, I am not ice, but I can procure more ice if you want. There is plenty of it outside. Hey, I even uh, saw some yellow that must be a lemon-flavored ice. How do you know what a lemon is? Well, I am very smart. Okay, that's fair. Professor. Yes. Could you set a ship on fire? Um, Certainly. That seems like a good enough distraction to draw away some of the guards. How will I get away? Can you, can you do it from a distance? I could do it from approximately... <laughs> like, give or take, if I had to spitball it. <laughs> uh, About 58 feet. Yeah. Uh, 30 feet. <laughs> can you... 30 feet easily, and then possibly... Can you blip out, like, your ice thing? No, certainly if I if I gave Krufiel some more mundane fire-starting implements, he could, he could simply leave the situation, yes. Um, I was hoping he would be more useful... At the Luskin Arms, but well, it seems to me like the I mean Zolvana, you you are absolutely radiant at the, the Ice Fest, the Winter Festival. You certainly could entertain. Oh, at the Luskin there was Arms. a festival? Yes. Can we go back to the festival? I I, I uh, we didn't we didn't have festivals where I came from. Uh, it sounds festival. really nice. Festivals we can go we can we can go next oh. year, Delphi. Speaker's dead. Ooh. It's yeah, <laughs> we can go. It was a good time. Flynn, Flynn was amazing. You should ask him about it sometime. Oh, Flynn, did, did you do this the thing tonight that you did there? I, I, I did not. It. I did. I don't. No, mm, no, I didn't do that. Um, what I what I did was what I did was I took a dwarf and like it just not that I wouldn't, but anyway, but what I did there in the public was that flung him into the stands and out, the, out of the ring it was oh, yeah did you did you hurt him was, was nah he's was fine anybody hurt he's he, just his, his pride his pride oh my, my, my grandma told finger. me not to not to be proud she's a smart lady all right so <laughs> do you have any way of contacting Maybe. your grandmother Professor. um <laughs> I'm just thinking, I it just occurred to me that she might still have my arm. And if I could, I mean, and she might have another copy of me. I I, I don't think, I think so. But but, the, but if she, if she has the arm, uh, she'll she'll keep it safe for you. She's she's really, She and my mom are both really good. You know what? I, I'll, I can ask. I'm just contemplating having to kill a clone kind of mom. myself at some point. I'm thinking that maybe Delphi and the professor should start the fire. Maybe Delphi, hey, um... Could you assist the professor in that, you think? Maybe maybe fly him out of there with your wings or something? I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. I mean, uh, no one's, no one's going to get hurt, though, right? No one's going to get hurt. Well, no, no one would be on the ships at this time, uh, except there may be the watch on the harbor. But 
do you do we Flynn? Do we think that these are the, are they the bet? I thought the the imp would be great because yeah, I like sending Crucial. Crucial seems like that'd be something he'd be great at. Um, however, I just stealthing and being sneaky is not always. I'm not great at it. I'm not. Yeah, which that's... is interesting because you're missing part of yourself now, which means it'd be easier to hide yourself. And I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, but the tentacles get in the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good old tentacles. Um, um, well, that's well, that's um, from a dis from a distance. Get the professor close enough to do what he needs to to set the thing off. Delphi, you fly the professor out of there. And I guess for you and Zavanna are on on the infiltration. Yeah, and uh, Delphi, if you could fly him to somewhere near the um, the Luskin Arms, that way he can you know keep talking to Flynn and be a watch, a lookout. That would be super. Ooh, we could do that. Yes, uh, if y'all um, could oh. even run messages if we needed to go long longer distances. Yes, yes, especially with the uh, whole invisibility thing. That would be great. Yeah. Okay, so remember that my flying only lasts for a minute. And I, 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 we can't be invisible and mechanically I'd have to continually roll a strength check to make sure I could hold on to the professor. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm uh, one arm lighter than I used to be. Eh. Well, that's true. I never knew you at your original weight. So this is how I know you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to um, change my notes in my own notebook to, well, to subtract what you're the saying is, one arm. <laughs> yeah, so, so Delphi might need a hand. Or Didn't. well, I have two good ones. Oh, it's good. Oh, I've got the goat. <laughs> uh, the goat's not. That's not. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um. Well, I mean, just to get yourselves safe and then get to a vantage point. That's all I'm trying to say. All right. Okay. All right, so, so, party of mine, tell me the plan. So the. Professor is going to set a boat on fire. And where on this map here, somebody ping for me where this boat is going to be that gets set on fire. Okay, so that boat there by the L in Luskin Arms. Love like they're that. going to be able to see that uh, go up and then rush to it, ideally. Okay, okay. so we're going to set uh, that boat on fire and then Delphina is going to pick the professor up 30 feet away from the boat and fly him. Well, now, does the professor need to be 30 feet away from the boat? How far can the imp fly? Because I imagine the imp could just set something on fire. Like you could, wait, don't you have that uh, alchemist? I do have a bottle of alchemist fire, yes. Careful, and... meta. Careful, meta. <laughs> Careful, meta. I'm sorry. You know he has Alchemist Fire because you watch the, the YouTube. Because I went ahead and watched these streams. Check them out on YouTube. <laughs> uh, I, have Alchem dice, I, have Alchemist, I have Alchemist Fire and I have several jars of oil. Um, Professor started the fire. It yeah, was always burning from the I don't ship. Need to be, turning. I don't need to be anywhere near this boat. I can just send this stuff with. Yeah, I was saying, how how far can the imp fly from you? I mean, you don't have to. So I'm just imagining the professor standing 30 feet, being like, "Whoa, weird! This thing just went up, right?" <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know, I, I have to say that's what I was thinking. Is he's 30 feet away and he sets it on fire, and then Delphina picks him up and flies him in the clear. To somewhere. No, no, Delphina picks it. No, just no, I imagine. Through the I imagine. center of town, just screaming, I am your god. Flee, <laughs> <laughs> flee before the fire of the professor. Tomorrow, when I gain my spell slots back, I will rule you. Oh yes. my god. <laughs> this is a terrifying idea. I like it. So, yeah, no, I don't need to be anywhere near this boat. Yeah, I, I imagine so, Delphina was so going Crufiel with. Crufiel is going to set the boat on fire. Yeah. Yeah, that, okay. and we could sense. we could literally use just a bunch of oil and a tinder box. Crufiel, 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 oh, Crufiel, uh, tinder boxes within your. I mean, you have hands and things, right? You can handle yeah. the tinder box. 
Abs- absolutely. Absolutely. Echo. That's, that's what I thought, even, yes. Do we need to explain to him first year. how... F- does he know how fire works? Does he know how to start a fire? Can he, can he do that? What do you doing? Professor! Does someone, does Ask him! Flint, oh, flint I'm not does talking to him! I'm talking to you! <laughs> Delphi will dig out her flint and tinder and yeah, I mean, he'll just go to fucking sparking and like maybe even little bits of the table like the no, spark stop. And stop it, him. That's not, nope, uh, nope. Excellent. Is that not how you use the tender box? I, I, apologies. That's, that's how I was taught. That's exactly how. That's exactly no, how you, it is. You, and so he goes back to striking. Yeah. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop. But not like here. This. this is no. Save not here. Place. Save for the boat. No fire. No fire in the inn. Proofio, you don't take orders from them. But also, maybe, maybe stop. That's maybe what? Stop. You maybe stop. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, master. Yes. 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 Thank you. And and he will. Let's say he has some sort of weird skin pouch, and he will put them. Mm, I don't like any of that. Nope. <laughs> don't like it. I don't like it either. But sometimes uh, you gotta make those decisions. There's just been, been way too just been way too much skin pouch during this episode. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Um, it's fine. Everything's fine. So, well, since since you, uh, you don't need to actually be at the boat, then you can just kind of stay at the vantage point and then be our backup if we need it. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it won't take long to light a boat. And so I'm assuming, Crufio, you could make your way to wherever we are and uh, help yes. us with lookout and for communication purposes. Should we just, I mean... They don't know who I am. I could just be in the in the public house enjoying a beverage. Good. I think our best bet is to perhaps have the professor and Zilvana in the Del- Delphi too. You do, you don't seem like kind of like Indra like eyeballs Delphi kind of looks up and down. It's like yeah, you don't seem very stealthy. Oh no no no! I'm not stealthy. I'm Delphi. It's short for Delphina. So Flynn, <clears throat> no, it's good. Hydrate. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> As he down every time he downs a pitcher, one of the other daughters <laughs> brings a pitcher, and they kind of like like side lick him, like, huh. and then totter off. And like the younger the girls get, like the more mom and dad are like. Mm, mm. No, That's right, ladies and gentlemen. He's the, he's the one down in water, but they're the ones looking thirsty. Hey! <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> take your inspiration back. <laughs> <laughs> Lamb oh, my <laughs> Oh, right. Okay. Um, so other than cause a distraction, do we have a, any other sort of plan? Not really. So... No. Flynn and I will go ahead and, once the guards are distracted, make a reconnaissance of the Luskin arms on the exterior, trying to see if there's access to a lower cellar or something of the sort. Hopefully, Zilvana, Professor Delphi, who is not stealthy. Mm. Uh, Three of you could provide uh, distractions or, at the very least, keep the people inside uh, the Luskin arms entertained. Yeah, I mean, do we even know are, are the prisoners held underneath? The building and an upper building. I everyone, think... everyone, roll a per a, a smarts roll. I guess roll a <laughs> intelligence. A smart, like roll a smarts make, roll. Make, yeah, yeah. Make, uh, thank you, thank you, Pike. Roll a straight intelligence check. <laughs> all, all of you, please. Ooh. Okay. Um, I, oh gosh. Oh, oh, Delphi. That's a nat one. He's smart. Um, He's smart. All right, I'm uh, 15. What, what we got? Indra? 14. Um, 15, 14. Okay, I'm going to do it. Oh, uh, don't hurt me. Oh, sh- yeah, 19. And Zalvana? Brian, did I do it? Oh, did I do the you do, G- Lord, 21. 21 yeah, was yeah, the first 21. one that came in. Okay. So, so <laughs> she's Indra the and, leader of the team. <laughs> in, in, Indra and, and Zalvana. This is sounding like a really great plan. And when the professor asks, do we know if the prisoners are being held downstairs or not? Uh, you don't actually know that the prisoners are being held there. This is complete supposition at this point. 
Oh, absolutely. But that, again, but, this but is... with a 19 and a 21, you realize you're plotting to destroy a ship in the harbor and break oh. into a place that may not have the quarry that you're looking for. Oh, man. See, now you're going to do that thing where you're just like, oh, okay, let's do the, let's make the. Oh, I'm not shooting choice. for a TPK tonight or next week. I mean, just I, next week at this point. My hope would be just to send Crufiol invisibly, invisibly, just to scout around the building. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna assume. Thanks that for watching us play D and D, where we use the familiar to set the fire, to scout the building, to get all the interest <laughs> exits, count the guards, and we stay here at the inn, warm and toasty, having hot yeah. chocolate. This is where I, this is where I, this is where I take my short rest. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this my you sounded like Xander more and more. I was I was gonna call you out, and I decided no, nah, I won't do that to Buddy. But thank you for doing it yourself. No, it, absolutely. Xander <laughs> would have had a plan. Like like uh, Tempest would have been doing all the fucking work. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's like. Well, if if uh, if he can go invisible, can he just I don't know, go down a door and see if there's you know prisoners down there? I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why. So we either I hate to rely on uh, on Crucio so much, but right, that seems like our fir- the first option. Might um, the only the only thing would be if Crucio is caught, then we do have a. Less well, I mean, I mean, if he's caught, then he problems. just. Doesn't he just disappear, or can't you just wink him out of existence? Or I think I have to command that he can't wait, Krufia. We've we've determined you cannot dismiss yourself, correct? Correct. You may allow me to do it, but I may not do it. Uh... Yes. Wait. So you can allow him if he gets caught to vanish? No, no I. No, no. I he I, may allow me to vanish, but I may not vanish. I've given him me. permission to vanish himself, but he has not the ability to do so. So if he is invisible and setting a ship on fire, what are the odds that anyone's actually going to see him? Again, the the whole point is to sort of scout out the Luskin arms. And setting a ship on fire is just fun. Or at least... Well, I mean, let's (laughs) let's, let's, let's be real, though. Is the distraction for the reconnaissance? Or I thought the distraction was for the breakout. Well... It's it makes no sense to plan a break a breakout when we don't know where the prisoners are. But it was, that was my thought, meant yeah. to draw away the guards so that Flynn and I could do some reconnaissance on the exterior of the building without basically hashing our bets. Because well, I am stealthy. I'm not well, stealthy. If we just, I'm not stealthy. Stealthy. If we <laughs> if we just need a distraction, just, yeah, I could just go in and I don't know, sing for him or something. Like, yeah. that's fine. No, Let's fair point, well made. But that's not going to help with the guards on the outside of the building. You have yes. no idea how far <laughs> the president oh. goes, apparently. Oh, <laughs> man. I believe a good order of operations is uh, <laughs> mundane distraction in the form of Zalvana as we get as much information as we can as just patrons of this public house and and in giving a good look around. And then when we need to take a longer look or potentially stage a rescue operation, then we might do something more drastic. I.e. Krufiel lights a boat on fire. Yeah. When you say that, he's like at the ready with the flint and tinder. <laughs> oh, yep. Thank you. Thank you very much, Krufiel. On my mark. And just hold that right there for a minute. Aww. I mean, he is poised in just the... just. You can almost see a little bit of spark. He's just like so ready to strike. Don't oh. don't tie don't tie yourself out, friend. We're just gonna do the recon tonight and then deal with the lottery tomorrow. Then at this point. Why? Let's break them out. We have to make sure they're there first. All right. So I'm all for the going in and doing a dual up recon and extraction. Yeah. I just need to be sure everyone else is on board with this. Yeah, so like me, Flynn, Captain Imdra, we're all so, going to go in and just distract people. So how about and- this? We distract the people. If we discover that there are prisoners on board, it's at that point that we have Crucial, Crucial light the uh, boat on fire, giving us the distraction Cruf- we need. Cruf- Crucial. It's an F. F- Crucial. Crucial. Okay. All right, so... Uh, w- we have him light the boat on fire, and then that's the takeout for the prisoners. If we don't have the boat go, then we don't extract anyone. Correct. Yeah. 
So yes, let's let's go let's go over there and get as much information as we can first. Why not? Okay. So we're heading to the Luskin Arms Inn. Yes. Love it. Uh, Wait, shall you, I bring? You... Shall I? What? Sorry. I was just going to ask. Do you want me to um, put you in a disguise, Emdra? I have a makeup kit for that. <laughs> Ooh, are we gonna do makeovers? Um, <laughs> so Imdra has like the one eye patch and just like yeah, you know, it's just like I don't think makeup's gonna pretty distinct, but I appreciate the offers, Alvana. I okay, will you look like a dude and that way you could be like a pirate. <laughs> Are you saying women can't be pirates? Because I'm I'm not feeling good about it. No, no. But, it's like Jack like, Sparrow. <laughs> or something. Oh my god, yes. Imdra as Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Dear God. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry. It was just a thought. Okay, we can do whatever. <laughs> uh, anyway. No, uh, no, so Indra, Indra nods. She's like, I will not be going in the Luskin Inn I, or the Luskin Arms. I, uh, I'm afraid I may be recognized too quickly. So I will stay on the exterior and be eyes outside. Uh, Flynn, care to join me? Yeah, yeah. I uh, heard there's, there's a tally going around with names on it. So I think I'm going to try and keep a low profile. Um, wise. See how long that lasts. <sighs> uh, so. Hey, DM buddy, have we been chatting at this inn long enough for a short rest? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. Oh. Well, I mean, Flynn hasn't made his <laughs> short rest yet. No, uh, I haven't used anything. So that's. I mean, like I've used. I've used some things, but like mm. I. Just, <laughs> I mean, and if anything, he was giving more of a long dexterity rest. check. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please roll a dick save. Um, I feel like that's more of a con save. But <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Depends on how you play it. Anyway. Hey, hey, whoa! Uh, uh, Im- Imdra and Flynn, <laughs> would you like Krufial with you for this for this portion? Yeah, he won't do what's good for me inside. Okay. Very well. Uh, can you, can he, he uh, you, you two can talk to each other without, right, yes. If he was within 100 feet, yes. And so right. uh, Flynn and I can communicate telepathically over short distances, but uh, Flynn, if I am out of range, you can give word to Krufiel. Krufiel can give you a little boost on that range there. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, Kruviel, I I'm going to turn you over to the care of Flynn. Uh, please obey his commands to the best of your ability. Excellent, Master. Hello, Flynn. Hello, Kruviel. Was your ice to your liking? Uh, yes, it was. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Okay, so who's <laughs> going to go where? Uh, I believe Zelvana and I are going inside the Luskin Arms. With okay. Delphi. With, with Delphi. Delphi. Yeah. And so. And Imdra and Flynn and Krufiel. So I would imagine that Imdra, Flynn, and Krufiel are going to be heading along this back line. I don't know. Uh, mm-hmm. Flynn, holla at me. What do you think, man, in terms of. Like, you just hit him with a holla at me? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Indeed. I'm sorry. Holla at me. Um, so uh, if holla. we travel a lot. Holla, 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 holla. Oh no, now I just ax speak. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and call at me. Krufiel, <laughs> do you speak ax speak? Uh, no, but I have I, I have eaten one and, and it was good. No, no, it was it was not good. And Delphina's like No, no, it was not good. It was it was stringy and delicious. <laughs> Just can't nope <laughs> this thing enough. It's just nope. Uh, very, very <laughs> unnerving, yes. Uh yeah, no. Um 
follow that that background around there probably um stay somewhere in between these buildings not all the way hugging the wall but like to not look like burglars. look casual yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Gotcha. casual casual. Burglars. casual um cash burglars cash burglars <laughs> <laughs> some sort sorry. of new so Ohio <laughs> so I don't know I don't know but uh uh okay so are you guys gonna head out all at once you're gonna kind of break up and look like you're you know not a team on an assignment <laughs> uh, <Hands in. laughs> I will break. throw up my cloak first and like have Crufio like hide in here like inside the cloak with me uh okay and I'll, and I'll dip out first. Um, I'll Flynn, he, 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 can, he, as, can be, you, he can be invisible, Flynn. You can just. Can I, I can. I can tell him to be invisible. Yeah, he can, and he'll do it. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, yes, it is very comfortable up here, though. But I will get out and be invisible if you'd like. All right. Not for now. You're you're good. Okay. Oh, yeah, thank you. And he kind of like it's nice. He kind of like nuzzles in. But when you <laughs> you stand up and like flip your your cloak around, like you for sure, all of you hear at least three women's voices one of which might have been Josie like mm. <laughs> um I'm gonna hard stride out of there without looking at anybody but like I'm strutting as I walk out <laughs> Andrew gets to the door kind of looks back at the group looks back to looks at Zilvana kind of <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, and so now the three of you, so you you two are off into the night, um, skulking about, looking. Uh, the three of you head to the Luskin Arms. No, 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 cash burglars. Cash burg- not skulking. <laughs> yes, the three Indeed. of you? Yes. Indeed. Well, let's move you guys <clears throat> to a new map. <gasps> It's an uh, oh, shit. Yeah, so you're at the bottom. <laughs> you're at the bottom side of the map. The three characters there. Um you oh, should God. have control of them. Yes. Cool. And I, I will you guys tell me where to put her. You know, actually maybe I'll make Delphina controllable by one of you as well. For those of you playing along at home, the DM just produced a new map, which is in no way, shape, or form disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the regular tavern map where it's a nice little picture of a common room and maybe a barkeeper. Yeah, right. This one is overhead on a grid for no apparent reason. Yep. Nope, don't need <laughs> grids. What's that for? Uh, Zalvana, you should be able to control Delphi's token now as well. Huh. Wait. Let me know if you... Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. there you go. Uh, I mean, you, go, you don't hear any battle music, right? As yes. of yet. This as you're walking up, this is this is definitely an older an older building. Uh it is it's kind of run down. Uh it definitely has seen better days. Um there are you know kind of shabby chic kind of like flags hanging on the the walls, but they're all kind of tatty and torn and look like they have uh, just been out in the wind for, for quite some time. Um, not a place that you guys would probably stay normally unless you just had to. Uh, but the um, there is a little plaque out front that says Luskin Arms in, you know, public, uh, public house. Uh, we'll try it on in. All right. Yeah. So you guys uh, open the door, and again, as much as the outside is shabby from being in the elements in the wind, the inside looks just as fucking shabby. Like, man, do you guys open the windows a lot and let the wind in here? What what is going on? Do you not do you not have a broom? What's what's what does the haps? Um, there's a fireplace here. I'm I'm realizing my lines my light lines were not clean. So I'm opening just a little bit there. So there's a fireplace um, on the side here and a guard kind of warming up at it. There's a guard right here by the door and there's a, an older gentleman 
behind the counter. The guard looks at you and you walk in and no kind of patrons. Not... These are clearly just guards. Uh, correct. They, they are dressed just like all of the other guards you've seen here in Targos, but the, uh, the one is warming up himself by the fire. He sort of seems to notice that you came in. The one by the door just gives you a, a very half-assed head nod. Shall we grab a drink? Yep. We'll stride to the bar. So this is not a bar per se. This is much more of a like a check-in desk. Okay. <sighs> Welcome Public to the Public house as in not a pub as in a more of a hotel. Well, yeah, we, we got we got rooms and we got drinks. It's just there aren't drinks in this room. Awesome. Excellent. May I help you? Well, oh. He seems really like the professor even is like, you are a cantankerous bastard. And coming from the professor, that means something. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. That's cantankerous. And say, so there's there's no other like patrons within this lobby area at all not within the lobby i mean if you give me a perception check oh lord four yeah you you hear the the soft crackle of the fire and the guy near it is like just kind of like warming himself all right uh Yes, could you uh, please provide us with a couple rooms for the evening? So are you looking for just general accommodations, or are you looking for private rooms? General is fine with us, I think, right? Yes, what do you mean by general accommodations? Uh, he will gesture and walk over to this hallway here and show you guys. I'm going to open up some stuff, y'all. Um, oh, my, I can't get my, there it is. Couldn't get my light to open. Um, there, this is just like six beds. They're dividing walls, but no doors on any of them. Uh, it, it is maybe like you were sleeping in a horse barn. Uh, it, it does not at all look comfortable. Uh, these beds are five silver per night. Um, general accommodations. We we do have a a, a lower level accommodation. Uh, yeah, yes, Embry. Even though you're not here, five silver per night. Uh, we have a a, a slightly cheaper version. Sleep uh, in a horse you. barn. <laughs> <laughs> for, for uh, three what silver. Would, what would that that cheaper version look like? Ah, oh, yeah, it was that's right over here, and he moves you guys up to <laughs> it's not really a hallway as much uh, when I get up there as uh, yes yeah, so these are these are very fine adequate for most things there are no dividing walls here these are just like fucking sleeping bags on the floor yeah uh, these are these are the the cheaper accommodation the three silver per night accommodations are these rooms all truly truly empty uh, they are. You notice that there are. There's like some stuff there, like uh, like someone. Oh, they left their pack and and went out to do something. So they're not completely derelict. No one is in them, but there are some things there. So maybe there are a handful of people living in the squalor of this room. Yes. Um. Uh, uh, hostel. Hostel. If you will. Per. <laughs> perhaps some private rooms would be more appropriate. Would. Would you care to show us those, please? Well, I, I will absolutely show you, but I mean, do you know those those will cost you a bit more? Those are uh, a full gold per night. I, I I I would pay more than that in 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 with my back if if I were to accept these other accommodations. So mm, yeah, as, well. it, it, as he moves past you, he's like, that's why I don't stay in this motherfucking place. <laughs> um, he brings you. He brings you back around here to a set of stairs. I'm sorry, I should have opened that up because you walked past them. A set of stairs that uh, lead up. Uh, they would be uh, this way, sir. Are you all three going to go up? Uh, <clears throat> do, you, do you care to see the room, Zalvana? Or would you... Are um, you okay staying down? 
I'll stay on here. Delphi, why don't you go with the professor? Right. Uh, oh, okay. Come on, professor. Let's let's go find a room. And so uh, they yes. they head off up the stairs. Um, Zalvana, why don't you give me a a, a quick uh, since Ryan is meta ing in the Zoom chat. And he's doing it in the clear as opposed to sending it private so he doesn't get caught. <laughs> hey, uh, I am I am an all opportunity. Plus, how, like, how is Zolvana not going to look for the bar? You tell me that. Like, fair, fair point. entertainer. <laughs> like, yeah. buddy, is this exactly. section here just a wall? What is what is? This? Yeah, that's that's you can that's the stairs go up, so that's kind of the back side of of okay. the stairs. Um, it's nothing of. Nothing of anything there. I mean, it's Got under it. the stairs. Maybe there's you've, there's like some tables or chairs or something shoved in there. Okay, it's just a kind okay, of a okay. derelict storage room. Uh, I'm as long as he's being so willing. I'm taking as much of a look around as possible and trying to like calculate where the most likely place for a basement would be. Like we've seen most of the western side of the building, and I'm like okay. trying to map the floor plan. Okay. In my brain. I, I have done the map here for you. Yeah. Um, okay, so you guys are going to head upstairs. Zalvana, what are you going to do? Um, well, I'm going to give a very big smile to the two officers that are still guarding the door and guarding mm -hmm. or and warming their hands. And I'm also going to try and find the bar. Yeah, so as you as you come around to either of them, uh, if you come to the one on the north, you can see through kind of the open doorway here that uh, it seems to lead. Oops, polygon reveal. It seems to lead into just by a quick look, what looks like a, a kitchen. Mm. Um, and if you come around to the 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 south to see that guy. Uh, you definitely can see that there are uh, tables set up in this room. And you can see at least one person sitting at a table. All right. Well, um, it looks like a kitchen. Um, yeah, I guess I'll uh, go in to where the tables are. Okay. You can, At the north, you can see there's a a door that passes through into the kitchen, like a set of double service doors. Um, Imdra and Flynn, why don't you both give me a perception check? Thirteen. Thirteen. Thir thirteen. So Did you? Thirteens. Double, <laughs> double unlucky. Well, that um, is ominous. <laughs> and so you guys had passed along kind of the, the southern, the, the backside of, of the Luskin through there. The, Zalvana was right. There is a, a heavy-ish guard presence, but it does seem to maybe have thinned from when she was there earlier. There, there are probably eight guards that are just kind of on basic patrol out there. And it, it looks less like they're just patrolling Luskin arms and they're, it's just kind of that that whole like quadrant right there that they're they're kind of looking into but they also don't seem like they're looking that hard at anything this is um Imdra, you've been around the towns enough to know and flynn you spent enough time on guard duty to know that sometimes it's just really fucking boring uh they don't anything you two want to do specifically even though i don't have a map for that <laughs> We start. I tried to find a, a, no. a, a, a good Targos town map, but yeah. there just really aren't any because it's too cold to fight outside. Yeah, right. They don't seem to be keeping too tight a formation as they're patrolling. No, which means that any distraction would probably be more effective. Uh, both of you give both of you give me an insight check. Hmm. Oh, all right, come on. Ooh, that's a five, uh, that's a five for, for Imdra. Three, come on, 15. Flynn. Hey, Flynn, 
these are these are mercenaries. They're they are undisciplined. They're not soldiers. They're not running a formation. They're dressed alike and they act alike, but that's the end of it. You uh-huh. you have been around and have yourself done jobs like this. These are mercs. They're this is not an army. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um I'll like point out the habits to in to in uh Imdra and be like maybe a first responder response is not the way to go for this one. Yeah, you're right. What? I mean, I mean a militia is typically made up of people from the town, or at the very least, like soldiers. How much money must Targos be spending on a mercenary militia? I mean, they're probably paying for it, give, to serve it on lunch every day. I, mean, I imagine the five gold they spend on the cauldron is uh, uh, it's more than enough to keep some of them uh, fed and happy. Mm-hmm. I don't like this, Flynn. Do they have, you know, they have barracks around here? Well, I know if they do or don't. I was asking. <laughs> oh, I'm if, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were Imdra. Asking, no, no, because Imdra's been such, here for a minute. You had yeah, such a so, tone. I thought you were talking to me. Oh. You know? <laughs> so so uh, to and my knowledge. good role playing, everyone. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Uh, honesty, friends. Uh, to my knowledge, all... Uh, any sort of, so do DM, like one, uh, so the way East Haven's set up, like we didn't have a barracks. Uh, so I, that's true. And uh, so I, I, do I know of there, uh, of a barracks being here in Luskin? Um, or I'm sorry, in Targos? You have seen, let's say you have seen at least an increased presence of these guards at the place where they take the cauldron at the end of the day. You have seen them take the cauldron away and you've seen it come out of this place and there's always, and always with it is a buildup of, of personnel. And it's this place that they're coming is, out of. It is not. It is not. So the, the building that I've seen them congregate or, and or take the cauldron in and out of is... Uh, it's much closer to the stage where the, they do the soup serving and apparently where they do the, the sacrifice... Um, stuff is there a name for that building uh i have a name for it yes but there's not <laughs> there, there it is not a like a public build ah, okay it. so i haven't so i haven't i so i, I know the there, building there, there, you know the building there's not like a tile outside that says what it is <laughs> but, like, you, but you know which building it is the bad guy base yeah i got it okay. <laughs> yeah all right that did you look at my notes that's what it's called <laughs> <laughs> So do you guys want to head toward that? I would. Yeah, yeah so uh, Imdro, so uh, actually now that you mention it, the <laughs> so while there has been an increased presence, it's not here at the Luskin Arms. It's actually at another building, the one that they bring the cauldron in and out of every day. But So I've moved you back to the, to the Targus map. Um, let's go back just, to the map. Let's go back to the map. And so the the Luskin Arms is here. Me. And the stage where they do stew is yes. here. Over in the market square. And this building right here behind Triglio is the building that you have seen them take the cauldron in and out of. Oh, so the building in front of that is the Triglio. Yeah, where the is the oh, you know what? I am Triglio so sorry. doesn't have an the, arrow. Yeah. The arrow, the arrow is on the wrong. So the way. field outside is the trig layout. No, it's right. Well, I wondered why you guys asked. Is it like it's yeah. That's why I was confused. <laughs> like, there's a whole outside of town area called. There the trig we layout. go. Okay. Okay. Can you? Oh. Oh. So should we? Should we let the others know that we're going? Or. No. What time, what time is it? Or like, I'm just gonna like glance up at like if I can get a good uh, 
idea of like you, the time. You look at your at your D and D Apple Watch. Um, <laughs> you you guess it is. Uh, it's maybe ten thirty or eleven p.m. It's not quite like midnight yet. Okay. Um, and remember that Krufiel is with you and probably mm-hmm. within range that depending on where you are in relation to the Luskin, probably oh. within range that he could send a message to the professor, even though the captain hates magic. The captain has her own reasons for hating magic. And also she doesn't have to know about the Crucio, Crucio, Crucio talking. Uh, so. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, we'll have Crufiel send a message to the professor. Um, not soldiers. Mercs gonna go uh, scope out the barracks. I tell them you, you hear that in your head, but it sounds like Crufiel. Wait. Oh, wait. Did you say, did you say that out loud, Flynn, or is that just in your head? Can I telepathically talk to Crufiel? Not in the way the professor does. I mean, we could make some rolls and see if you could use okay. your telepathy for it. But <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Just I mean, to make sure that Ember when Ryan heard. said that Ember doesn't have to hear it, it's like I bet she does. Yeah. <laughs> well, because like it's mine is like more one one way. I'm like putting my thoughts into some someone else, and the professor and I just both have it one way. So it just like that's how it works. The building in question is next to the Triglio, uh, just uh, north of the Market Square. Next to the Triglio, north of the Market Square. North of the Triglio. <laughs> no, Market Square. Oh, we said Never that. mind. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys so much. Okay. North of the Triglio, Market Square. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else from uh, Imdra and Flynn? Oh, so oh, damn it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Professionals, everyone. Professionals. <laughs> uh, Captain or Flynn? Someone just tried to hit us with a guiding bolt, man. So uh, I'm yeah. fucking. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, so then we're 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 heading that way. All right. Yeah. So, um, all right. Imger so and Flynn off on a whirlwind adventure. To the professor and Delphina, uh, you reach the the second floor. And, ah, now this is one of our one of our very nice rooms with a with an oversized bed. And he kind of like he goes to 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 nudge you in the arm, professor, and then realizes he's trying to tap the one that isn't there. And then he gets real fucking self conscious, like an old man would. Uh, for uh, plenty of bed room for your you and your companion. This is all just one room up here. Well, no, this is one room, but there are several other rooms, but this is the first one we've come to. Have you been to an inn before? It just, it's, I mean, I, I, I do like the size of it. Uh, could I see the others, please? Make up your goddamn mind. Um, he's definitely grumble grumbles. Oh, there's this one that is pretty much just like that one except this one has the foxes on the ground and the Ooh. other one has the bears on the ground is that faux fox or fox fox mm, that's that's for sure real fox <laughs> for um, sure fox <laughs> animal furs tend to aggravate my allergies do you have any other rooms perhaps <laughs> uh, of course have you ever been to an inn before Yes, can Jesus. I see? Yes, yeah, yes, that's what we're doing. I'm showing them you. I'm showing you the rooms. Yes. Um, so you turn the corner and you're in a a long hallway. There's a guard at the end and a closed door. Even though it might not look like it on the map, I promise you there is one. No, there, yeah, no. It's good. Um, this that door right there is closed. Correct. Uh, okay. This room is. A lot like the others, but smaller and uh, apparently much more hypoallergenic because there's no fur. Uh, that is promising. Uh, as long as we're here, I'd like to see what else, what our mm, other options yes. are. Yes, shocking. Uh, this room is 
very much like the last room, except for instead of the bed being on the one side of the wall, it's on the other side of the wall. Oh, see, that's no good either. I cannot sleep with my head facing west. Mm, yes, I I suspected as much. Maybe you would be into this one. He doesn't even go down there. He just points you to the next fucking door and, and forces you to walk down yourself and look. Uh, finally, a bed with a with against the southern wall this is fan fantastic um <laughs> is so is, is the guard guarding a closed door on the on the eastern wall is that what that is uh yes there is a there's a door beyond him uh he like his there's back that. is against the door so i'm gonna so just uh, this this is promising but i i would just like to see the final room here and i will attempt to open this door like uh, by reaching will, past he, the guard yeah he will not allow that to happen and <laughs> the guard's just like and, and the proprietor is like i'm sorry that room has been rented uh by by who he's going to look at delfina like really hard and then look back at you 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 really never have been in an inn before. I, I, I must tell you, I am not normally prone to giving out the names of people who are staying in my establishment. And, and if someone were to come looking for you, saying, who's in the room with his head on the south wall? I would not say grumpy one-armed man. Yes, uh, forgive my impropriety. Uh, my only... My thought would be that... Uh, of course that your other tenant would have seen all of the possible rooms up until this point as well and they would have selected your finest room and so i can only surmise that this room is indeed your finest room and as i had mentioned my back is not what it used to be uh and i i i would be willing to to pay double your nightly rate to uh Ask that patron to to relocate as uh, my back would thank would thank me. Roll a persuasion check. This is about to get me in trouble, but I just rolled a uh, natural eighteen. Ooh, plus four twenty two. Look, I I understand what you're saying about back problems. I obviously have them myself, but. Speaker Nerth has that room paid in perpetuity for that he normally does a, a year at a time. And I, I, I appreciate the offer of double, but I, I could not break a contract that I have with the speaker. Uh, that's about all I needed to hear. Let's go ahead and cast Detect Thoughts one more time. Before you do that, uh, we're going to half a second back up. Roll a perception check for me. Cool. Uh, roll it with advantage because you also, were trying cool. something. 18. So when you tried to reach past the guard and he kind of smacked your hand away, you notice that he is wearing a very narrow plain flat gold bracelet. Cool. Uh, have I ever important? Seen... Who knows? I have know. I... Have you ever seen anything like that? Uh, yeah. I, without a roll, uh, I would say that, and with that perception roll, I would say that you have not. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I would like to cast. Detect, Detect thoughts. thoughts. Uh, you're just going for surface thoughts. Uh, no, I would like to like scan for thoughts beyond this guard in the other room. Ooh. So I'm copy and pasting some stuff from the description because yeah. I can. Uh, okay, so so you're you're not you're trying to listen to these two. You're trying to listen for something beyond a them. 30, thirty foot radius beyond them. Yes. Uh, yeah, you in fact do hear um, two voices, uh, two men's voices, and 
it's uh uh this place is a right shithole the food here just totally sucks well well what have we here look at her kind of similar things for both of them and then also the other voice that you that you hear is Zalvana. So Zalvana, what is your as you walk into the room that we were in back downstairs on the first floor, and you see the two guys sitting at that table eating? What are your kind of initial thoughts walking in? You, I think you're muted. I am. <laughs> you hear nothing, Professor, because she's muted. <laughs> no. Uh, well, I walk in and, and look at uh, all the empty chairs everywhere and walk up to the table and ask if I can sit with them. Oh, it's absolutely. And again, Professor, the m- more kind of lewd things you might, might expect to hear from Flynn. Uh, you're catching in the <laughs> thought stream from these two. Yeah. Um, so is it clear that these are thoughts from downstairs once you hear zalvana it's clear okay um but i'm not getting anything anything else from up here. not not getting anything specifically from the next room no cool 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 cool, cool. Um, um anything else to finish up with him before i slide downstairs to zalvana uh i'm gonna just like quickly just like walk down the hallway and just like point to one of these side rooms uh let's i mean let's go for the one with the with the southern the southern bed let's say uh yeah i'll take that one um and i'll like hurry downstairs before my spell ends and i'm going to like again like uh let me just take one more look at all the rooms before i make my final decision and i'm going to like make a quick circuit of the building and see mm-hmm. if i can get any thoughts that might be from a basement okay you uh, so this is the room that you picked with the the bed on the southern wall yes. and then you said you wanted to go look for more and so you pass by and the like hold, just just hold this one for me i just want to take one more quick look yes uh he really never has been like there's no one here to get this room out. He's never been in it. Oh, we don't stay in, in inns very much. We we sometimes uh, have to sleep out on the ice. I don't intend to sleep uh, at all, in fact. Uh, but um, and in fact, I just... Uh, yeah, so you can make your way down. I would say that as you're on perimeter walls, you can hear guards outside. Um, it's, oh, oh, it's fucking cold. I just, Ooh, oh man, I don't know how. Why did I decide? Why did I do this? Uh, this, what? What are we even guarding? This is, this is dumb. And it's just kind of general dissension in in the ranks. I mean, folks doing something they've been told to do, but their heart. You feel like you can tell their heart isn't in it. Okay, that's also and you get good that information from though. several several different sources as you kind of move through the perimeter of the building so those are coming from outside yes okay um zalvana Mm. you have just sat at the table with the the two uh lusty guardsmen who you don't know were thinking lusty thoughts but um these they look a little more well dressed than the other guards um Mm. again uh, uh, Give me a give me an insight check, please. Yeah. Yeah. Rolling. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Insight plus three is 17. So I will say that much like uh Flynn, you have seen your share of soldiers and officers, and you've seen your share of mercenaries. Mm-hmm. And again, these guys are dressed better, but you get the distinct impression that these are all mercs. They're not, this is not a formalized army that is put together. These guys are working for pay. And if the pay runs out or if the pay rate changes, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'll uh, ask them how they're doing. 
what, uh, what a are they whole eating? hell of a lot better now that you're here. Oh, you, you don't want any of this. This is just some kitchen slop. It, it just looks like some sort of basic kind of stew that it's probably a fish based stew, but it's been mm. cooked down enough so that it's not as fishy anymore. It's just kind of like well, por- fish porridge stew. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fun. Fun. If you, if you like an ingrown hair on your ass. Uh, <laughs> Well, but how did you, you come here? How long have you been here? Uh, well, I've been here, uh, I don't know, two and a half, three years now. Came up from the Sword Coast, but uh, wow. if I had seen something like you there, I might have stayed. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. And you, what about you? Where'd you come uh, from? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. I might have stayed too. Mother, that's I just said that. It, <laughs> like, like one is putting down game and the other one is trying to copy that game in front of the guy. Uh, again, something you have seen many times in your career. Very cute. All right. And so well. now they're trying to not fight in front of you. <laughs> because they probably have lost women in this situation. It's like, mm. when did she leave? I don't know, probably the time you hit me. <laughs> mm, in that case. Mm. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so who's a, uh, so, so what's your, what's your weapon of choice? You a sword mm. guy? You a, you a bow and arrow guy? Well, I really like to, uh, to poke things. Mm-hmm. And the guy with no game says, yeah, I'm really <laughs> fond of stabs. I, I, I mean, I, and he just kind of mm. goes back to his soup. Mm. I'm not even there, and I'm taking psychic damage. It's just <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, that's why I wanted you here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you here. This, this is just nothing but a payback. <laughs> payback episode for Ryan. <laughs> okay. you, use the game, Luke. <laughs> He what, ain't uh, got no game. <laughs> what's what? What's your what's your weapon? Or are you just a silver tongued devil that doesn't need a weapon? Uh, I'm I'm a bit of a jack it, of all trades. I can it, uh, it, I can do a lot with a little silver. Like for a moment, you get Delphi vibes off that guy when he says, "Is your tongue really silver?" <laughs> and then he's kind of back into his soup. Actually, I, I look at him and I say, "Why don't you check?" <laughs> Soup all over the front of his armor, and now he's like trying to clean it, clean it off of the armor. And now that you see him befuddling around, you you again get the sense that these guys are better dressed, but it, there's a lot of sham in it. There's 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 spit polish on it, but it's not it's not bright and shiny. It's been kind of made to look better. Yes, um, and on and on that note, I am going to get up from the table. And I'm going to go into the kitchen and see what they have to eat. And I will, um, you know, do the hand thing where you like lightly tap one of the shoulders. I'm trying to start a rivalry, if you couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> on, uh, on the, oh, on the, oh, it's on the, one of the it's shoulders. Yeah. And, uh, and just, no, you know, I'm going to go to the kitchen and be like, well, I'll, uh, I'm going to go see what's uh, in there. And, you know, you guys enjoy your dinner. I'll, I'll see you in a few. All right. All righty. And as you get to kind of there and, and maybe for a half second, look back, you hear him. He's like, hate to watch you go, girl, but I love to watch you walk away. Damn, dude, that, that was really good. Did you come up with that? Hell yeah, I came up with that shit. And and, and again, the you want to start a rivalry, but one of them is taking lessons from the other. <laughs> Be that good or bad. I'm um, saving it for later. <laughs> Mm, let, me know, but, let, me know when, let, let me know when later it is girl hey um yeah again d- much like the other kitchens you've been in there's lots of fish products um yep. there's some dried meats um there's no one in here it's 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 kind of like a get it your damn self kitchen at least yeah. at this time of night um but yeah not super well stocked but enough to keep you to keep you fed yeah and is there a another exit door going out the other way uh, there's, this door comes here by yeah. the other guard. Oh. Uh, it, they, actually, yeah, this one, there is a door here that it, you can go and look and you can see there, uh, there are a couple of carts outside. Um, 
Yeah. It's, it's uh, probably how they bring supplies in. And you can yeah. see if you look through, there's, there's this door that was in the main room as well. Oh, good. Door to the exit. Check. Yeah. The, you don't see anyone immediately there. You see footprints as though someone has walked a, a pseudo path. Yeah. But cool, cool. Anything else material from you? No, I'm just going to kind of like maybe. Actually, I think I'm going to like go out and uh, sit at the fireplace and make eyes at the. Uh, um, at the, at okay. the, uh, the guy out you, there just and waiting the, for the professor you hear the professor and delphi and and the 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 guy who runs the end like rushing down the stairs and the professor is like at all the walls as though he's checking for termites <laughs> um you're not super sure what he's doing but you're also not it's not all that out of the ordinary for the professor mm-hmm. um imdra and flynn You have made your way over to, all right, so are you coming to, oh, did I move you guys? There we are. Uh, are you coming to the front of, of this building um, here? You see my ping? Yeah. Uh, or are you going to kind of scope behind or go to, to Triglio? Triglio is closed right now, but. No. I would say scope behind. Cash burglar. Cash burglar. Cash burglar. Cash burg's behind. Yeah. Um, so sort of make like yeah. we're going to the Triglio and then kind of be like. <laughs> uh, yeah, just give me one second to reset the fog here. Wait, um, the fog. The fog. I, I actually have a map for you guys. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, so you guys, uh, you guys move along the the building there, headed along its side and toward the the Triglio, and it is a oh, damn it, roll twenty. It is a wooden building. So, um, yes. Oh no, I was, I was just gonna do some banter with Flynn while you. Uh, oh, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So you um with the. The barmaid is that a is that a thing you 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 do is that I I like? I mean um I, it's a thing a lot of people do well, no is, no uh, no I know I know people do uh, you just like you when you were and now that there were a lot of people around East Haven when you were there and obviously we, you focused but I just you seem a bit of a slut. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't say that. Ah, no, it's fine. No, I'm a little slutty. Yeah. No, just. I mean, you know. Uh, hey, it's it's cold. Gotta <laughs> warm up where you can, and just so you know, you you warm up a lot. Oh, uh, where where I can I I can lack of a better phrase, get in where I can fit in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. God, I love you guys. All right, so you're on the right-hand side of this map. Uh, you can, uh, you're free to explore down the, explore down the all sides of this building. Uh, it's pretty plain, uh, pretty plain wood building. Um, seemingly no windows on the side that you're on there. Taking a look uh, but, mm-hmm. at the ground around, do we see that there are patrol tracks around the, like, anything there don't like seem, that? There don't seem to be any on the side that you're on. No. Love it. There, there, oh. there are plenty kind of north of you, but that's off of a much busier square. I, I don't know if it's possible, DM, to sort of move with a... a, a I'm not trying to, like, do, like, sneak, sneak stealth, but I want to be as low-key stealth as we can. I guess I'm moving stealthily, but I'm not trying to be like, but, you know, like I'm not pressed up against the side of the building or anything like that, but I'm... Semi-stealth. Yeah, okay. semi-stealth. semi-stealth. I got a happy and snow. That's... Oh. <laughs> Ooh. 
Embra's getting her stealth job on. Um, I will say that. Uh, I know that sounds what is a bad. To stealth say. job. I hate you those words. You invented it, my friend. Uh, Terrible. So I, I will say that it, it immediately mm-hmm. next to you, there are no windows, but you look down about halfway, you do see a window in the side of this building, um, kind okay. of down here in this range. If you, so you, there aren't any people out, so you can just kind of casually walk over to it. And if you want to look inside, <laughs> you guys might have to make a stealth roll to do that. Um, but uh, it's, that's only if you want to look in through the windows. I, uh, I look at the window, look at Flynn kind of, <laughs> would, you like, you wanna, would you like to take a look inside yeah i'm gonna look inside give me are you gonna look inside as well indra can i aid flynn in his stealth role tell me how you would aid him to not get caught Ooh, that's a damned fine point dm uh huh huh i got nothing I'll be honest, like, I can't figure out how I would aid a, a stealth. I mean, I guess, like, if so rather than having both of us, I know it's because of both of us. I mean, there's, a, there's, there's yeah. a second window. That, so there's a window here as well. You could go look in that one and maybe blow two stealth rolls. No, no, no. So, ooh. Hmm. <laughs> but that's also double the amount of vision inside. So as, so as Flynn moves to the window, I actually don't move with him. And then I start sort of what I was a little girl I kind of like put my hand out like I thump my hand up against the building and go oh shit man I kind of make some barfing sounds on the side of the building trying to- okay I, I I am I'm loving that uh Flynn please roll your stealth check with advantage oh hell yeah Oh, hell yeah. All right, that's an 18 on the die, plus uh, three, so 21. So, Imdra starts making all this racket. You very deftly peer up inside the window. Uh, You see a couple of folks in there, but they're not looking toward you. They're looking out toward where Imdra would be. And... On the far wall of this room, you see what is almost unmistakably the cauldron of plenty. Mm -hmm. And that is where we're going to end the stream for tonight. Ah! (laughs) So we've got the party only to do, no longer split into three, looking for prisoners, but maybe have found another piece of treasure that you've already rescued once. Um, yeah, good game, guys.